The thrill of the hunt. Yes. That's my favorite part. Okay, well, he's dead, and, and we got a whole blow dart. So I went and got reeds last time. Aline, do you remember what I was planning on using them for? The end is nigh. Uh, Tons of them. No. Oh, no. You're like, you're... Bloody end is oh. nigh! What? My scaled chest is, like, literally full of them. No, I don't remember what I was going to make. Where's that? Night armor. No, no, Most no. We, we talked about night armor, but that wasn't what I was planning on making. Could I have... Like... How, how many reefs do you have? No, 39. no more for you. Do you think I could have, like, half? Uh, it depends what I needed to build with them. I, I don't remember. I'm just going to put um, them in the chest for now. Flute. Don't oh, yeah, that's what it was. What yeah, I wanted to rebuild the pan flute. Because oh, I deconstructed yeah. them. But I'm not sure where I put it. Put the reeds? Well, I deconstructed it, so there was a lot of stuff from the act of deconstruction that I got. But <laughs> I forgot already where I put them. Damn it. Good How job. does this happen? You rush at the very end of the server's life to get as much done, and then you forget by next server life? Could that be? I don't know. I'm just gonna look through the chests here, then. Because you always have such big ambitions by the uh, last five minutes of the server. Oh, um, disease. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. No, our whole yeah. our whole trick farm is gone. I said that earlier, but did anyone listen to me? <laughs> they drain your sanity when you're near them. I found the stuff. I did not know that. Oh wait, no, there's the evil flowers right next to them. Okay. I guess I'm Quiet just... your doggo! There's really nothing I can do, is it that it's loud? It's a force of nature. Yeah, it it's actually is kind of loud. You... Can oh. you like shut the door maybe? Is that better? Yeah, it sounds a little bit better. Pan flute. I think you had them over there in the Hover over a mandrake bag. and crafting. You're right, that would have been the smart way to do it. But let me guess, Twash, you just want more knight armor. I have two. I only have two. Tango dogs. I don't have any. But I do want more knight armor. Do you have a better use for it? Uh, not really. Yeah, wear log armor. Okay, for, for the reeds. I'll farm with nightmare fuel. Wait, I don't want 38 reeds. Wait, what? I don't need 38 need reeds. Those, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll confiscate them. Oh, thanks. No, I okay, don't, time to just go farm don't, them. don't leave us with none. I won't. I'll leave us with how many is it? 20? Yeah. I'd say it's a decent amount. That way, if we need to make something in an emergency, we don't have to go out and collect reeds. Actually, 18. Close Can we enough. all make honey poletas? Or honey poultice or whatever? Because I called? realized that um, if I got the 18, then I wouldn't be able to make four. I'd only be able to make um, three. Okay. I usually use the pierogies, but if you want to use honey poultice, that's up to you. No, I was just saying, since it heals for so much... Never How much does it heal for? 40? Or 30? It's 30, isn't I it? I forget. I'm pretty sure yeah, it's 30, 30, and then the regular spider gland stuff is 20. Yeah. No, well, 5 O's is just you. Have you ever noticed that the Don't Starve wiki from Fandom does this really annoying thing where it, if you focus your cursor on the search bar, it will de-emphasize de it focus after like three seconds of the page being loaded. It's so aggravating. No. Yeah, it heals for 30. Wait, do you use the mm. fandom wiki or the Gamepedia wiki? I don't know. Well, what's the domain name when you go to it? 
I just have it bookmarked, and that's what I use. I never type it in. It's Wikia? No. Wait, what? The fandom owns Wikia. Crap. Yeah, so I'm looking at fandom right now, and I'm telling you, there's a search bar on it, and if you click on it before, you know, just after the page loads, about three seconds later, it will de-emphasize that click. It will deselect that search bar, and you have to click on it again to continue typing. I was just wondering if anybody else noticed that, because that really, that, that's what aggravates me that about that one. site. Oh, really? Do you use the Gamepedia one? Yep. What, what's well, the... I just look up... I just look some like I literally just look up item name then DST and whatever I just look what I click whatever link at first because I really don't have a preference. Huh. Oh, you're just welcome. I'm glad somebody likes it. You've never I, I played Star.io? Have you? It's nope. pretty good actually. Um, it'd be better with the team though, or if you can find a team, because otherwise the only. .io game I somewhat played was Gario, but um, who didn't? I didn't. Really? Yeah. Well, I probably have played it. I don't know. I was like, in I was like really good. I so I was like really into it. I, I knew all like the pro strats and stuff. It, it was really cringy. I'm glad I don't play it anymore. Hey, it was a massively popular game. It's not unusual that you'd have played it, honestly. Yeah, but like I was like really, really into it. So I guess I should just dig up all these diseased saplings at this point. Rip. Yeah, we could that... use them for a rot farm. Oh yeah, exactly what I need. Well, exactly what we need. A, a one-time rot farm. Okay, so I should go find some creatures to go and punch right in the face you're punching preachers no no <laughs> nightmare creatures <laughs> i know what the... at first that's what it sounded like you said wait why are there just frazzled wires in a chest I haven't taken we them to the pig king yet gold. We'll be like... storing gold on the ground at that point. Yeah, honestly, frazzled wires are a better store of gold because they stack higher. That is true. I think the devs never realized how much gold you're able to get in DST. And that's why there's practically world. nothing to do with it. I have oh, literally exactly. at least 300 gold sitting by the pig king. In your solo? ruins run. Yeah. Yeah. Those frazzled wires, I tell you. Yeah. You get a lot. I want to get gears. And especially in Warzone WX, when I go to the ruins, since I just hammer every single one, I get, like, the half a stack of frazzled wires. Oh, you what got that it? Krampus sack to bring it all back with. I guess I'll have to go out and dig up some more twigs, then. Uh, I have nightmare fuel related priorities, right? Is that okay? Yeah, I don't mind. As a matter of fact, we were talking about last night something to the effect of if you want the nightmare armor, you should be ready to farm. Then that shadow is creatures. the motto I've been trying. I've been basically using since I started with like dark swords. Okay. I like Dark Swords for the Hound Wave when you're Mac uh, Wolfgang. Ooh, thanks. One shots are nice. We had that in the armory. Yay. I, I like Dark Swords as a um, if I if I randomly encounter a, a uh, high health mob that need that needs some executing, I'll just whip out my Dark Swords. <laughs> I'll just whip it out and then I uh, hit him with it. I agree. I like to have one on hand, but like if we have a world like this one where there are just tons of tentacle spikes, it's usually just more cost effective for me to go tentacle spikes. I uh, tend to main tentacle spikes, but use dark swords when, like, when there's just something I don't want to sit there and kill forever. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the similar philosophy that I employ. 
Cool. AKA a toadstool. So that's one of the things. A toadstool is also unique in that ham bats are ill advised, so. Yep. Limits your options a little bit more than usual. Wow. We're that close to the end of winter already. And I don't have. You will have had another walrus spawn today. <laughs> Sorry. Space left. I'm Canadian. This is why now. you don't auto attack. I pressed F. Yeah, auto attack. Do you want me to use uh, my mouse to click on enemies? I don't think that will go any better. Click uh, if you're hole. trying to freeze them. I, I did. I. Uh, I'd recommend clicking on yeah. walrus or mac tusk if you want to freeze. Like auto attacking that seems dangerous. Just hit the hounds instead. I just never really click on anything. I I tend to just use my keyboard for nearly anything besides like cooking something or organizing. What about when you're exploring? I, I use my keyboard still. No, but I mean you can click to move. Eh, I, pr I prefer I, pr I prefer uh, using a keyboard. What? Uh, five of us. Could I have the nightmare fuel? Please. What reasonable thing could, would you need your other hand for? Like, isn't it on the mouse already? Yeah, but I don't like to do it because I tend to accidentally click on other things. Like what? Beefalo. Like examining a tree? Beefalo. Or just accidentally attacking something that you don't want to attack. I've had so many things that just screws me up because I accidentally just attack pigs and then can't- then I have to just go leave the whole pig area and come back like a few minutes later. I've- I've literally- I've probably died before because of um... Clicking? Clicking on beefalo accidentally. Huh. When, like, trying to pick up manure by them, I try click on oh. manure on them. Yeah, but see, I'm not, I'm not talking about clicking for those reasons. Like, these are very specific reasons to do it. Right? Because you can move even with your map open if you click to move. Like, that's the main reason for doing it. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, I'm actually maintaining these shadow uh, creatures aggro without the Lamer amulet. It's weird because I usually cannot do that God. for like a long amount of time. You're just wearing the Nightmare amulet persistently? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Kind of, but I ended up killing all of them fairly quickly. From that 68% one, I got 20 Nightmare Fuel. Wow, is this a pretty good haul? Yeah, I didn't screw up. And since I can't make any more knight armor, we have tw we have ten profit for the kingdom of Hell's Hound Mega Base. <laughs> nice. Um, do you guys want any of my log suits? Because I don't think I'll need them since I have enough shadow armor. I don't have any yet, but I was planning on just bringing the resources required. To make them instead. Yeah, yeah, it's more efficient for inventory space than just pre-making everything. I have inventory space, so I don't worry about that. Uh, where should I just put these? By the armory? Most likely. No, if they're log suits, you can't. Don't In start on fire. Test by the armory. Wow, we really did lose a lot of these saplings. Yeah, put them right in there. There's four of them. I think that'll be enough, though, for what we have left of the server. Rip. <laughs> and this is why disease is normally turned off. Yes. Oh, I forgot so one of the So you don't have to go around the world a million times replacing what you've lost. Yeah, so far this is like the third time, I think, because I went out once for berry bushes, once for the grass, and then once for the twigs now. Out of uh, 665 days, I don't think that's too bad. Wait, oh, like, what, what did you say? out three times for berry bushes. Okay. 
You know how many times I usually go over berry bushes? Zero. How many? Yes, <laughs> exactly. Zero. He doesn't believe in them. I, I really don't like them. I do. Are you kidding me? Berry bushes are like the perfect food. You get... They're the perfect filler. You Yeah, but I mean, it's like immediate meatballs. Just plant ten berry bushes and you've fed yourself for life, basically, if you... If that's all you want to do. For... I just usually don't make meatballs often, and if it's... I, the only time I make meatballs is first winter and, like, the first spring sometimes. But then, there's plentiful ice. Wait, what and are you using you the ice for instead? Filler. For what? Meat For making meatballs. Oh, okay. I thought you said you weren't making meatballs, and I was like, what, what, what are you using the ice for instead? I, I don't really make meatballs past, like, the first winter and spring, though. What's your common go-to? Dragon pie. Oh. Dragon pie and honeyed ham. I I usually get up fully functioning. Oh god, that was scary. Did you see that? Nope. Oh well. Um. Oh, there's only five of us. So I, I pressed W, and since I was so fast, I ran up to the uh, to the bunnies accidentally and got a nice whack in by all of them. Cause I didn't know that was the direction the bunnies were in. It's a bit like getting one of those high fives as you run past with your arm out, huh? Yeah. Except they were trying to kill you instead. So, one thing I, I usually try to get, like, in the first spring, get dragon pie production up, and then during su first summer, get honey ham production. Oh, I hear deer cops. Deer cops, run! Deer cops, run! Oh, that's not good. I don't... Okay. I'm freezing to death. What a time. I'll start hunting for him. Oh, am I far? Yeah, I'm far enough away. Wait, I don't right. hear him anymore. Do you guys hear oh, him? I hear him. I hear him. Oh. Oh. It's spring. I think he's not going to spawn now. Yeah. He might not. Search the area. We can't unload the that guy. You can't unload him at all. If he spawned, you can't leave him. I guess a search would be worthwhile then. No, no, he automatically despawns off screen. I thought you just said you can't unload him. It, no, you can't. That means you shouldn't. If no, that's spawned, not what can't, can't means. Unload him. Can't does not mean that. Mm. I think. And I, I am. I don't know. I think Deerclops is not around anymore. Yeah. Um, get a thorough search. I, I need a. I need a boost, by the way. You know. You know what I mean. I'm boost. It's probably the first year now that we haven't I had Deerclops. No, we've had another year without a deer clops, but with a eyeball from what's his face. Okay. Gloss? Yeah. He usually, um, so when he doesn't spawn one winter, he usually just, uh, likes to spawn day one next winter from what I've seen. Huh. Does night armor burn? No. Okay. Light me up. Light you up, 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 light you up. The other one, yes, the one where you close your eyes. Wait, do they stop fighting when you do you use the lightning? Perfect, and my sign is out of range. Oh crap! One other one. Uh, yeah, that's some good stuff. I find funny how if Maxwell reads it, it's the Codex Umbreon is what he uses. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So it's just a chapter out of his book he's reading, technically. I know a dumb challenge we could do. The first Go person on. mod challenge. We try surviving as long as we can using the first person mod. Thanks. Hell no. Why, Fivos? 
I don't know. I'd I, be I would, interested in doing it one night. I wouldn't be against the idea. It would be like so sickening. Maybe. <laughs> because you literally think of it. Tim, you ha you're locked in one direction, and then you turn. You have to just Q Wait, and E to move, and it's all and it's literally on a like, um, one eighth like axle. I read whatever. What was that? Like you can only move one eighth of the like three of the six, three six degree angle, and you can you have very limited FOV. Uh, we could do it in third person mode. It's like a first person, third person kind of Fallout perspective. If that makes yeah. any sense. Now oh, that was a very yeah. unproductive haul. Most of the pigs ran back inside. So. I would say the enclosure is too big. Hey, I'd keep it at the size it was the last time. I think the world's cooking up something evil if uh, the world date is anything to uh, point to it. The world what? Look at the world day. 666? That's why Deer Clubs didn't spawn. Yeah, they should have like, a little Easter egg for that. What? I said they should have little Easter eggs like that. It'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need the silk, and then I was gonna go and catch some green mushrooms. No, I did it again. Super yes. Accidentally. Uh, wait, the raising. Don't you want to catch some uh, blue mushroom spores instead? Um. Not really. I have a ton of blue mushrooms. Uh I just wanted oh, the green okay. mushrooms for the upcoming fight. Hmm. Well, Josh thinks blue mushrooms are better than green. Well, I mean, if you have to choose one type over the other, I think it's pretty obvious that blue comes out ahead, but when it comes to just pure sanity regen, it's handy to have some greens on hand rather than having to try to I use the blues for that so our uh four stacks of green mushrooms aren't good our uh six stacks of green mushrooms aren't enough for you where are they all bundled so up i just don't like you have yeah, they're over here because for some reason we're not using the one closer to the uh cook pot for storage hmm. I, I don't really like to, i don't really like to have an independent green and blue mushroom farm so i just have the unified mushroom aka blue and it gives you health and sanity, even though it's. But slightly. drains more and gives less. It, it's it gives slightly. five less sanity. Okay, but it also gives you so much more functionality, since you can heal really effectively. Do any moosekies? I uh, put the uh, thing. You kill them. They We're probably haven't spawned yet. For feathers. I'll eat them. Eat the feathers, go! If you're interested in an area with a lot of moose geese, it should be... I'll just ping it here in a second. It should be right around there. Is there Mostly anything about three of them done? spawn. Oh, water like, is time. What... Water time, my favorite kind. Oh wait, no, never mind. I need an umbrella. I have mine in my... Chest. Wait, is Dragonfly out? Probably, yeah. Can I take care of her? Do you mm -hmm. want to come with me? Do you want to solve it? What? I, I I don't mind either. What? Let's take of those of the mushrooms. Are they... Okay, they're green caps. I'm just going to put them in the chest over here. So that way I know where they are. Yeah, I put even more in that chest. We have even more in here, too. More of what? Gr green mushrooms. We have seven <laughs> stacks. Uh, that should last us a while, as it turns out. Maybe I won't bother getting any also, more of them. Also, we have, uh, we have three bundling wraps full of monster meat. Cool. Three. Yep. No more, no less. Why do we need so much monster meat again? Uh, it was just overflow from some fight. Hello, Sakura. 
or are you dev? I kind of forget. It's been a while, I think, since I've seen you around. Even more bundlings of monster meat than I thought. Yeah, I haven't been monitoring that situation at all. Uh, we have 18 um. meat and uh, 20 monster meat in here with a fresh hand bat. If three stacks of monster meat in this one, uh, three stacks of meat and 32 frog legs in here, and four stacks of monster meat in here. I'm going to go off to kill dragonfly right now. Do you have everything you need? Yep. Do you have rain protection? You have pan flute? Okay, um... <laughs> Take it back. <clears throat> no worries. It was expected. What don't you have? Yeah. Oh, I Bad forgot pan flute. Mate. Pan I flute. Wish you all the baddest luck. Let's take a look. Yep, I listed pan flute. As I mentioned before, I'm making a list on like common things that like a checklist to go down before you fight a boss, right? So that way you don't leave without some important resource. I mean, yeah. this is what professionals do. Like airlines, they have their checklists before you can take off with a plane. It's just a better way to go about it. <gasps> so for Mate, at the raising, moment, I just got butter. At the moment, we have. Armor, Ooh. weapon, and pan flute. Where's the pan flutes? They're in the carpet, carpet bag, bag chest. Why has the place been so random? Uh, I don't know. I think it was because what? the base sort of started out with the chests in a different area. And they gradually yeah. moved over to that new area. A lot of Kay. it was not planned. Yeah, because people kept wanting to put things wherever they wanted. So we had no uniform uh, thing. Like, this actually used to be where a bunch of misplaced uh, drawing racks were. Next server, I, I'd like um, us to pick a better base location. Yeah. Why, what do you want to be next to? A good one. I want to be next to... Pig King no. and, the, and the desert. No. And the desert. Yeah. No. 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 Nine. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because both of those are usually biomes that are dead ends. Like you want to be as close to the center as possible, or as close to useful means of transportation as possible. Either entrances to the caves or wormholes. Now, granted, our current base is not as well in the center as it could be, and we don't have any useful wormholes. But look where we'd be if we went around Pig King, right? You'd have to walk yes, through the deciduous every I single time. So I don't think that, like, a pig king base is good if it's just pig king and there's nothing else by it. But if there was something like desert and pig king within close pro proximity along with, like, a swamp, I just would put it by the pig king. And the problem with our pig king Isn't is... Isn't that a consideration the, uh, that I would rather already count in. for, though? Wait, what? I said that's a consideration I would already account for, though. Okay. Don't forget our Pig King has that cave entrance that we have never opened yet. We didn't want to open it. Correct. Also, I made waffles. Wait, what do they make? What did they take? I don't think I've ever made them. Don't they give you like 60 health? Two berries, one egg, and one butter. They give 60 HP. Dang. Yep. Oh yeah. That's because more of the than butter. any healing food. Yeah. I think I'm revising it just... to ham bat. Have you ever fought be uh, dragonfly with anything but a ham bat? No. Okay, so we're replacing weapon with ham bat. Oh, finally it stopped raining. Yay! Yeah, Cause I only bring football helmets. <laughs> The one downside of football helmets, you can't wear your umbrella in the sun. I mean, in the uh, rainy seasons. I 
think we might as well set up the tentacle trap again. Now you want to set up the tentacle trap. Why not? Um, uh, magic? Okay, tell you what. After the next hound wave, I'm going to try to fight Bee Queen again. Anybody who wants to join in is welcome. I'll do that after uh, Fly is dead. Okay. Wait, do you want me to come up there? I'll be doing my thing. No, she's and... already at 80 health. And 80%. You're already... Not 80. You got a ways to go, then. You... you can join in if you want. Wait, are you doing the wall tactic, or are you actually doing run around and... Uh, alarm? I, I guess wall tactic. But she, oh yeah, now, now she just went for her first lobby spawn. I usually don't even bother making walls and just run around. Yeah, but you were Wolfgang doing that. And he can I'm kill all the larvae in like five hits. I just walk around, like I just run around, it's fine. I'm just saying it's more inconvenient. Oh no. Moose gooses yeah. are blocking my way of farming the cacoons. Oh hey, dragonflies coming up. You know what to do. Me. Chess. Moose goose versus kitty coon. Who will win? Moose goose. A smart person would put their money on Moose Goose. Cool. 70% health and she went in for her second round of Flave. Yay. Wait, how come you're not running? What? Do the run thing. I want to see you do the run thing. <laughs> no, there's walls. <laughs> Wait, why, why would you run then? I, that's, that's why I'm not running. But the walls are really easy to build, like even early on. Uh, I, I I don't know. I just never bothered. Wait, you have a tentacle spike? Yeah, for now, I guess. Here's a dark sword if you need it. Yeah, waste more nightmare fuel. Are we, are we kiting or what? You are. Okay. I'm just going to take care of this thing over here. Eh. Can you take care of it then? Yes. Why is it going after the lobby pool? Eh, get over here. It wants to spawn more babies. Cool. Oh, I don't have pan flute actually. How am I still on fire? There was literally rain. Pretty brutal, huh? They okay, want to start whacking? You okay. Okay. Go for it. There's so many moles by this cat coon den. That must mean this cat coon has been busy coughing them up. I don't have any weapon. I dropped my dark sword. Yeah, let me pick it up. Oh wow! Let's just okay. tank then. Here we yeah, go. Let's just tank then, since there's the two of us. Oh no! No, that's good. Dogs. That's actually not good. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, why are they on this side? Stop it! I don't have enough arm. Okay, got a football helmet. I mean, it still could be a little bit oh, risky. Oh yeah, Cacoon Fate Spring. Let's see, Owens versus two lava. Who will win? Oh, I let my lit myself on fire. What a genius idea on my part. You lose because they are friends. Hey, they're all coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oof. Uh, unfortunately, they're actually biting down those walls. Curse you. I'm killing mine, but I, I put Dragonfly to sleep temporarily so I could deal with the lava and, uh, and also the, uh, hounds. Frogs! Oh my oh, god. Why, why is she making more? Wait, I need I need a stone to repair and it. It's and it's frog raining. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any stone. Here, here, here. Of course, I picked up the freaking rubber bung instead. Why is it frog raining? Uh -huh. It's spring. 
but like, this is the worst time. Okay, I got repaired. Oh, the lobby, the lobby's going after him. This is, oh wait, no, he's going after him. Yeah, I wouldn't be too hopeful. Why did I put on my umbrella? The one time I got struck oh, by lightning. Oh my god. I'm gonna get killed yet from this getting set on fire. Unfortunately, I can't, um... I need to pull out here for a little bit. Okay. I need to well, heal myself. Chester, do you have anything worth is. healing in? I should actually store my healing stuff in Chester now that I think about it. I keep these things distracted, though. Wait, is Chester on fire? They lit Chester on fire. The buggers. How could this... Frogs! Versus... Beefalo! Versus... Uh, Dragonfly. The beefalo, it, it's almost really depressing. Wait, do they when attack you, Chester or not? When you see, oh my god, all the ha all the frogs are after me because I accidentally attacked them. <laughs> Where's my lazy explorer? Oh crap. Pan flute! I think frog rain is over. I hope so. Either that or it's just targeting some unlucky person on the surface. Yeah. I'll be back over there in a second, okay? Probably. Oh, she's in a hot pursuit with the frogs. <laughs> oh, okay. let, let, <laughs> Let's see this. Right, oh, wait. Right, They're going to do some damage, actually, because she only targets one person. One mob. <laughs> now that's a lot of oh. damage. Let's see. <laughs> Frogs versus a dragonfly. Right here, right now, folks. It's still going down pretty slow. They've done a thousand damage. Yeah, out of 27,000. It's fine. It's better than nothing. Yeah, but not exactly turning any tides. Well, I can or probably like... just keep on whacking it. Yeah, we can just whack at her while, while she's after them. She'll probably yeah. be after us. Also, I think oh, I just realized aren't they going to need armor. Fast enough, uh... For full moon. Alright, <laughs> they're still falling. Oh, they're gonna die from fire. They, what? They can't get set on fire. The buggers. I had no idea. Yeah. Here they come. What, the frogs? Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense. They are slimy. <laughs> Guess what my wetness is at? 100%. Nope. 83. This is the... How am I supposed to guess a random number like that? That's why I said guess. <laughs> yeah, but when you know, people I'll, I'll say guess, like it's usually because it's something really predictable. In right. one way or another. I like how that frog is just sort of trying to squeeze through there. I'm trying to loosen my wetness. Mm. Uh oh, that, that's kind of... You actually might want to take care of that frog there. It's uh, sniping at you. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to be in 100% wetness. I'm also... Oh crap, I'm not wearing armor. That's not good. Yeah, neither am I. Oh, I guess I'm fighting frogs instead of all the things. You don't want to go too far over there, she'll lose aggro. Okay. Good. There we go. Yeah, she dead. I don't Only know, I'm not a lot falls asleep if you do too much damage. That makes no sense. She gets stub locked from trauma. I might have actually oh, done, dealt that uh, blow with I a see. fist. Believe I see how it not. is. Ha 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 ha. No, there's plenty of frog legs. Gold here. I don't even want it. Do you want it? Do I want what? The gold. No, just leave it. I'm just picking up the food right now. That's all I care about. Oh no, the frogs! They're still in base! Can you unload it? No, nope, picking up just one I frog. Probably... I'll just kill it then. It was just one frog. It wasn't oh, worth unloading. Oh, nice thing. job. <laughs> yeah, I used it. the club. I'll have a present for you. Oh, you're lucky. I actually have Five space. Five only got one day left on our mush lamp. Do you have all the meat then? Or what? Yeah, I do. I picked all of it up. Okay. I've got some frog legs and some monster meat. You can oh. give it to me if you want to. I just realized you don't have frog legs and monster meat, do you? Hello. Momentous. Hi. I'm ready to go back. I think he's new. So it's good that we have 
new players for once. Fresh blood. <laughs> Detained. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I might have to increase your volume a little bit. Yeah. I I only heard like a faint. A little bit quiet. Uh, oh, I was gonna use this. Do we wanna? Can somebody bring us back to the lazy deserter? Oh sure. You're you're volumed at two hundred percent. I can't really even hear you. Oh, is this better? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Uh, so is this no, a no, new no. world or are you Josh, guys? Do Old world. Josh, don't do that. Good. Oh, don't. Well, care. no. Because of the hat. Oh. Here, I'm gonna go back oh. and I'll bring you guys back. Uh, it's a it's day six hundred and sixty-eight. Momentous. <laughs> at the moment. Uh, on the new or the old world. The one we're currently playing. Oh, okay. We're about to reset it though. Yeah, a couple of days. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll bring you guys I'm back. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Good job. Good I job. Well, Here. you guys have fun with this. Oh yeah. Thanks. I kind of want to uh, start when the new world comes. Okay. Out. That's fine because it's actually pretty good because Josh doesn't want to play through the new world, so we'll still have like the same number of people here. It should be okay. good. I'll probably be on. But yeah, I I'm don't gonna... know. Okay. What happened to Chester? Oh, he's stuck in the pen. Okay. See you guys. Just, just give Bye. me a second here. See ya. Thanks for ya. dropping by. Uh, there's something here draining my sanity. I, I'm losing sanity even with the Tamo Shanter on. Just don't Eight touch times. it. Just, just um, avoid touching it right now. I'll tell you when. Okay. Well, I'm not touching it. I'm just walking around okay. and I'm losing sanity while wearing a Tamo Shanter. I'm, I'm ready to let you over. Okay. Come on. Okay. Cool. I'm touching. Slapped it. Aline, are you uh, coming over or not? I think he's AFK. Okay. It, I'm like. Uh, oh, you, you got over. Nice. What? Okay. Oh, I'm See? completely insane. My telelocator saved the day after all. Oh, because I'm, I'm like. At, does WX lose more sanity when he's wet? No. Just health. Well, maybe. I thought you were talking about from the uh, sandstone. So at 30 wetness. I was losing sanity at literally midday with a Tamo Shanter on. Yeah, that's because you're drenched in water. It was only like 30, but it was only 30 though. Well, hmm. I Maybe because all my, oh, my, all my items item are basis. Wet. Yeah, all my items are socky. Okay. Yeah, that could do it. I'll sort all this then. Here's the meat one. Or, uh, rip. Yeah, I don't have any room, I don't think. We've got one more use in that telelocator staff. Okay. But I need to ma remake some foods here. What? Oh, there you are, Chester. Nice. I just gonna use this honey up here before it goes bad. Excellent. I so, think my connection's breaking up too much to play tonight. Oh yeah, your bar really? is okay. yellow. Like how bad what's your ping? Yeah, what is your pain? Nine thousand thirty-eight. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. It's the Netflix that, that's a bit kids much, again. Do you think? Yeah, I think that's uh, a little bit my extreme. My is thirty. Mine's at sixty-four. Uh, client performance, okay. You know, Clay, I don't think nine thousand ping is okay. <laughs> You're, you're right. How can you call this okay? It needs to be zero. And like, see, it, it's weird how like it depends on games to get like game to game. Like on CS:GO, I could never play if it was above like 40 ping. And I always set my matchmaking preference so that it would, even though it would take forever, it guaranteed that I would go in a game where I would get around 25 ping. Wow. Yeah, I would never even be able to play CSGO at that point. And then, that was the and like, criteria. It, what's weird is that in Rainbow Six Siege, 100 ping is considered really good. 
I wonder why. Have you ever done any looking into that at all as to why that is? Uh, not really. But it's like, I don't know, it's weird because I've never really seen like in Rainbow Six Siege people have like on public servers less than like 60. And it's kind of just acceptable to have 100. And that's kind of just means that you have good internet or live near a server. But most people have like really crap ping. In Rainbow I Six or in uh, CSGO? In Rainbow Six. In CSGO, I just, ma I just made sure that like the servers were like literally a few miles down the road. So I had like really good ping. Because you could like go in the console and you can uh, do this command that sets it's like something max ping and then whatever number you want. I see. I want to message Sam and ask if he wants to fight if you'll weaver up with us tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be helpful. So maybe that's one thing I should clarify for Fuel Weaver when it says armor. I probably should specify chest armor. Yes. Oh, somebody's gonna... Yeah, this is pretty painful. Look at me what? wasting all these blue mushrooms. Where are they? I'm putting them into crack pots to turn them into pierogies. Could I convert them into bundled blue mushrooms? Yeah. If you want. Okay. If you need it. This is kind of pointless. There's just there's two bundling wraps. This one has a bunch of green caps. And this one has that. I'd just rather have pierogi than blue mushrooms. Fine. Hey, I was all in favor of using carrots instead, but... Too bad carrots are kind of annoying to get. Well, after the houndius got mobbed by the frogs, yeah. Wait, he did? Both of the houndius shootiests got killed by the frogs. It was Aww. like five days ago or something. I, I didn't know that. I never really paid attention to them. Guess what I have zero of. They're pretty fun. Once you get a bunch of them, you can just, like, massacre rabbits. Do you think I could have some grass? I have 31 left, yeah. Can I, like, some of that? Because I, I can't make bundling wrap. You can have half. And there's no grass left. Okay, thanks. There should be more. Oh, five of us is actually picking some at the moment. Yeah, so Yay. I actually turned the little name mod on. So now I can see whose names or which character. Thank you, Five Us. I'll put the extras in the chest. I can see which character is which player. Very we easily. Just, like, hover above them? Uh, it actually just shows the name above their head all the time. I don't know if you saw the mod. Did you? Nope. It's I called... think it sounds kind of annoying. It sounds kind of annoying? Yeah, Maybe. I, I don't usually know. would just click on them or press tab. It's called show nicknames. Yeah, but this way I can just see you walking around with a nickname above you. Like, okay. Let's say I hover over you. Yeah, it says examine Joash. But like, this way I just see your name above your head. I am standing right here. I don't have to do anything. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's Joash right there. Yeah. Just simpler to use. So should I be going out and getting grass saplings or grass tufts? Uh, yeah, we could use both, as a matter of fact. I was planning okay. on going out and getting some as well. I'll go make some glorious luxury shovels or what, what, op opulent? I don't even know what the as. Opulent sounds correct. But they're regal. Nope, it's regal. Luxury yeah. axe, opulent pickaxe, regal shovel. Who knows okay. why? I would have just called it a golden shell. 
Man, that's not spicy enough. And here at Clay, we need everything to be spicy. Yeah. I don't know why Regal is spicy, though. You know, hi, Savannah. Coming for you. Yeah, I guess that's where most of the grass is at this point. Yeah. Although we have had a little bit of regrowth down here in the other savanna, it looks like. What mouse do you use, by the way? Well, originally I had a Logitech G700. And that, I think it was G700, yeah. That lasted me for about seven years. And then nice. I just crapped the bed, basically. I had a Logitech G600. And I had that for five years. Decided to um, just pack it away and buy the G703 because I wanted a wireless mouse. That was good. And oh. that. Is then that the latest generation of G700 then? Yes. So it's similar it's to the one I used to have. The reason I, I currently have the G502. I'm not sure I like it. Is it wireless? No, it's wired. Is that the like. Uh, quote unquote like Hyperion Fury or something like that. I don't know, but um, there was actually a subreddit dedicated to it if that means anything. <laughs> like, if you take a look for Logitech stuff on Reddit, there was a subreddit dedicated to this one mouse. It, it's one that has the weights inside it. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, it's G502. G502. The oh. Proteus Core, I think it's called. Yeah. That's not... Okay, I'm gonna look up G700. I'm pretty sure yeah, the G700... That's not, like, that's not like the one that I have. G703. Yeah, the G703 is quite different. Why would they change I'll it send... so much? I'll send you the link. Wait, so what has the G700 been replaced with? The G700S, I suppose? Yeah, they don't not even sure. sell mine anymore, and I'm not sure they even sell the G700S. I was tempted to get the G700S. That's mine. It also has power play compatibility, so if I wanted to buy a mouse pad that costs $200 and has wireless charging, oh, I could do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. It's one of those. Uh, I, I don't want to get... It kind of seems like a rip-off, though, because you still need a cord for that. A rip-off mouse pad, or what? Oh, a rip-off for, like, um, a wireless charging mouse pad, because um, they still need a cord. So you're literally not even reducing your number of cords. Oh, yeah, I don't travel in those circles. Wired all the way, because I have nowhere to go with it, so why not? I have, I've previously been a all the way, literally, I would never even consider a wireless mouse. And after trying bad ones, uh, trying, um, and then good ones, like literally good one, like if you just get a good wireless mouse, it's, it's awesome. Well, because um... I can't even feel like any difference in latency from, uh, my other mouse. I just don't want to replace batteries, man. I hate replacing I batteries and stuff like that. It's rechargeable. Well, mine's rechargeable. Yeah, I don't want to plug it in. Like, I just want to be able to sit down, pick up the mouse, and use it. Like, I don't want to deal with plugging it and unplugging it, right? If if I have a mouse that can be plugged in that's rechargeable, I'll just leave it plugged in all the time because I don't want to have to deal with plugging it and unplugging it, right? I don't. Do you like the freedom? Is that what you like about it? It's more free. I, I like that you don't have to worry about having the cord uh hanging around in your setup and also that um you they don't feel the like if it's so if you have like a brady cable it's kind of mm -hmm. annoying when you feel it getting brushed up against the side of your desk yeah see that doesn't happen to me though because mine uh, is hanging from my monitor stand so it basically loops up into the monitor stand and it's it feeds down from above so basically i never feel the cable at all this way like i can just zoom all over the place the entire mouse pad I can move over without feeling any cable drag whatsoever. So like that that's a non sequitur for me. That's why I don't well, mind it. I also um I also like that I don't that I'm like a wireless mouse, I won't have to redo my cable management if I want to bring it somewhere. 
Well, I just have a separate mouse, I imagine, for that. And another thing, I, well, so what, what I usually do, my technique with keeping it charged is whenever I, I plug in my phone every night, I just plug in my mouse also. And I just have the charger right by my desk. Yeah, and you almost really... have to. Because those gaming mice, they run through batteries really fast. Actually, this I've one, had... I usually can run it with like three days without needing to recharge it. I've been able to run other non-gaming mice for three months without needing to do anything to the batteries. Like if I was to get a wireless mouse, it would be one that I could run that long. I don't want to have to deal with charging it all the time. If you see... Hard, so Hardware Canucks, they actually made a video, I'm pretty sure like G, the G503, and there's like, I forget, like there's something that does, that it's meant to last for, the battery's meant to last for like six months, and there's like this keyboard that came out with it, and that's, I, I think it was like eight months or something it can last for. The keyboard? Or the mouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's more up my alley, I guess you could say. It's a bit like with the Apple Watch, where they announced they were going to release, or not announce, there were rumors that the one for this year will have like a bigger screen and stuff. And I'm saying like, doesn't anybody care about the battery life on these things? I don't want it to be a smartphone. I just want to have something that lasts more than 10 hours or something at a time. I actually used to use a smart watch kind of, and then I gave it to my brother because I don't want it, and it was just annoying. I really just found that there's really no reason that I was wearing this because I could just do that all on my phone, which I had in my pocket. Yeah. So I just was like, eh, it's not worth it anymore and just stopped using it. The new LTE it, uh, Apple smartwatch, though, can be used without a phone. Yeah, like I, I was just I was saying that like I usually have my phone in my pocket, so there's really no point in just... Mm -hmm. Uh, one really? thing I found that I really like to have the Apple Watch for is if I have wired headphones and then I want to like change a song or something on the phone because I don't have to bother dealing with the cable, right? You don't have to. Like, usually I route my cable underneath my clothes so I don't have to deal with the cable then when I pull it out. But then I'm, I suppose I'm a little bit unique in that. How I just keep my phone in my chest pocket because of a really small one. I have the SE, Which one? Oh. the smallest of the small. It's like the smallest phone you can get that isn't a piece of garbage because I like them small. Huh. But w when you route the a physical wire through your clothing like that and then you need to change a song or something, you got to pull it out of your pocket and usually they have the cable wrapped around the phone and you have to rewrap it when you put it back away. So having it just there on your wrist is actually convenient. Do you have an Apple Watch? Yeah, I think it's the Series 2. It's not the oh, LTE the watch, one. The watch I had was the LG Urban 2. Um, uh, yeah, it also had an LTE, and there were a uh, few... I, the calculator was kind of useful in, in school because I could... Um, if I forgot my calculator, I could just use that and not get yelled at since my math teacher really... <laughs> just not like people having their phones ah uh, yeah like, I know, it's funny phone. you mentioned that because i was i was pointing that out i'm saying i was mentioning to somebody in my family i said it's isn't it more socially acceptable to look at your watch for a notification than it is to look at your phone like if that, i hear like a, a subtle buzz on my wrist and i look at my watch like people don't think twice about oh yeah you're just looking at the time right i mean actually looking at a notification but it seems like there's a larger stigma associated with somebody pulling your phone out and looking at it, like you're being rude now uh, so yeah, I kind of like I, that I, aspect Discord. of it. Because um, I, I could just respond to like Discord or something. And I uh, wouldn't have to worry about anybody saying something. Right, as but, opposed to uh, what? Uh, pulling out my phone and just typing. On uh, like responding to me on Discord. I, I have no food. Okay, well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half stacks. Is that enough? Are you asking me? Yeah. Seven and a half stacks for fighting field weaver should not require no, that much. No, uh, grass tufts. Oh yeah, it's full moon. Thanks for pointing out five O's. 
Seven and a half stacks of uh, grass tufts. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Okay. I'm running back as fast as I can because I'm also starving. You could just put the extras inside the chest. Uh, one of those king's chests. I'm surprised. All that and only and only used like 87% of the uh, regal shovel. I didn't know gold was so much tougher than like flint or iron, whatever it's made of. Like the default axe, I mean shovel. It's definitely worth the upgrade. Hey, there's nothing to eat. Uh, I'm starving. Oh, okay, cooked meat. Do. Hey, right, there might be something in Chester. If I can click on him for crying out loud. I like to, I've just been making meaty stew lately. Oh, I hope and the pigs are still out. A bunch of them on me. Since okay, I can just eat spoiled food endlessly. Yeah, you have that luxury. Yes. Okay. Here's the grass tufts. Just put them over there in the king's chest by the farm. Can do. It'd be oh, I have a present. Best. It's going to be a uh, lumberjack shirt. I know it. Plaid. Oh. Dang, some long gloves. So that's worth the whole three cents. They're like twice as valuable as a short glove. Or not? Yes. I also have a load of grass for us. Back in the day, I bought the Corsair K95 keyboard. And after... About three, four months, I'd say about eight keys went dead on it. What keyboard do you have now? It's just a Logitech keyboard. I'm not even sure it's mechanical. It acts like it's mechanical, but I don't think it is. I um, have it's just... Corsair K70, and it is the dream keyboard for me. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty popular one. I think I'd still stick with 10 keyless, though. If I got another keyboard, it'd have to be 10 keyless. Now that I have 10 keyless, I don't want anything else. I, I agree. Having I, the I numpad that, on like there is... It. The one, so if I were to, if I had to get a keyboard like right now, even though I probably wouldn't since I still love this one, I'd probably get the K65 with Cherry MX Blue switches since I have red right now and I'd like something clickier. And also, I don't really need the number pad. Yeah, it's kind of the conclusion I came to too. Uh, the K95? What, wait, what? Which one is it? Here. I'm going to pay you back for all the grass you've ever given me. Thanks. No problem. So, am I the only one who actually thinks about that so little people on here? Please what? No, just before there was a lot more people on. Mostly I suppose there. Don't Starve is a little bit in the downturn here. We haven't had like an event for a long time and stuff. Mm. They just had Year of the Varg. I mean, I'm bit just been posting memes here and there. Yeah, memes. Woohoo! Who doesn't yeah. like some good memes? Yeah. I'm not even giving the weird one, I'm just giving standard. Oh, you might wanna. You don't want them to eat everything. They will eat everything. Oh. Uh, five of us don't. Five of us, I can handle this, okay? Okay, otherwise... You, five of us, can you pick up, by any chance? Just pick up the stuff that's laying on the ground. Should I come I'll do the killing. attack? No, 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 I can do the attacking. Okay, I'll figure something else out then. Th this will all be done pieces. by tonight. Where do we have the atrium? You mean, like, where, which tentacle do you have to jump through? Like, what, what do you mean where the atrium is? Oh, I, I meant like the shadow. Wait, wait, what is the thing? Like the part, whatever. Oh, oh frog no, rain. frogs. Do we do we have one for the fuel weaver tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, this is screenshot worthy. Oh my god, this frog. Wait, we got the bunnies on it. It's all gonna be fine. Look at I us. just witnessed this frog taking up my whole screen, gliding down. That was. Oh, it got right in front of the camera, huh? Yeah. 
You never saw one that up close. Uh, what are you going to do with them? Okay. Do with what? Frogs. Just leave them over here to the bunnies. Oh. For some reason, a bunny decided... Oh. A frog decided to attack one of them, apparently. Oh, yeah, I just saw a big frog float down for me as well. And I'm wet. Okay. Let's not do that. I've never really heard people talk about how effective bunnies could be with the frogs. I suppose because most of the time frogs rain during the daytime. Or by the time that you actually have the rabbit farm set up, frogs are not a problem at all. I was talking to this guy who was really disturbed by the fact that I don't have any, um, that I don't have any ice flingers in my mega base. Like the day 600 one that I have with like Sam and Lacey Camel. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was very disturbed by that fact, even though we have a cave space for the summer. I, I don't understand why, because we're not just going to go and kill firehounds in the middle of base. Well, it can smolder and start it. Or are you uh, saying... I Wait, really are you... had that problem. Really? You've never had smoldering happen inside your base. That's the whole reason you get flingos. Well, I said we have, we have a cave space. Okay, but what happens if you invite somebody new in and they walk through your regular base or you need to go back and get something from it during the summer? I'm not saying it's impossible at all. I'm just... I think it's pretty standard to have flingos. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, we had them until we made a cave space for summer. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, this is a slaughter. <laughs> yeah, I just walked over here and I was just like, oh, okay. Who will win? The... Frogs usually win. Okay, I'll go steal we, the honey. We could right use more distracted. bees, though, then the bees might win. <laughs> yeah, as they're distracted, to steal the honey. Perfect. Oh, oh wow, easy. I couldn't even carry any. Oh, no, the one just floated down and decided to whack me in the face. How could he? Yeah, frogs win. Okay, I have 40 honey. I want to make some honeyed ham. Do you like honey dam? No, I... It's bacon and eggs and pierogies for me. Why, why don't you like honey ham? Because I just usually eat the honey plain. Okay. Oh, you frogs. I find it, I think it's just more efficient to make honey ham though, because you turn two honey into 30 health, so six health into 20. It usually isn't about efficiency for me, though. Okay. The reason I do... Uh, the reason I use honey, just as it is, is because it's a great top-off food for Wolfgang. And Wolfgang is somebody who really benefits from that, because, like, before you engage with any, bo uh, any mob, you want to top off that uh, hunger, right? So you can deal with the maximum amount of damage. But so many foods that you could be carrying around either spoil fast, or they supply you with a lot of uh, hunger so you'd be wasting a lot more that way compared to what I do I just continually top off a little bit with honey all the time I usually use honey nuggets for that since they give but, you 37.5 yeah even that's wasteful a lot of the time though but like that's like 10 hunger points and oh no a whole 10 killed by a frog huh wow yeah, so Rip. 10 versus 30 is like me eating three honey versus you eating one uh, honey nuggets. Okay. Flag? Okay. Uh, let's see here. I forget. Honey nuggets is okay. Honey nuggets is 20. Right? 20 health. I so, like honey nuggets. So you're making... They're useful. Yeah, you're, you're doubling the amount of health you receive for having honey nuggets. Yeah, the same number. Well for the same amount of hunger that you consume. Oh my god, will this frog rain just end? Eh, I'm just trying to make food, but the these rabbits, frogs say otherwise. The rabbits will help us. What's left of the tooth traps anyway? Nothing. I honestly think that tooth traps are just one of the most annoying things to set up. Yeah. I don't know why a lot of people on my servers want to have them, to be honest. I always tried to go the 
I mean, if you have to create an area for the the hounds, right? A trap, let's say. I always wanted to do pigs and bunnymen with a flango. Really? Yeah, because then you can have daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. You'll have something out there that will distract hounds. You can run around and kill them and whatnot. I tend to go for the strat of um, whatever I'm nearest that does damage, run over that. Yeah, but that's not uh, a trap. Swap. It's yeah, not but a trap. You know, like, uh, like if there's beefalo, I could just put, I could just bring a beefalo herd by base. Bam, that's like effortless. And or ten, I, I could just make a pit of tentacles. If there's a wicker on. I made taffy. <laughs> I don't like the tentacles because they're really dangerous to be monkeying around. I guess. If you're wearing armor, though, it's not actually too much of a problem. I'm going to consume these waffles. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, if you can use the health, go for it. I wasn't going to be using Yeah, I'm at 332. Soon. I don't understand. Where did those grass come from? Was there, like, two grass geckos that got out? Started wandering around over here? You know those bunnies. I'm going to walk by, and they're going to give me... Someday I'm going to die from uh, getting clapped too hard by bunny men. <laughs> it's one of the things I've been most frequently killed by. Or high five. Sorry. Uh, the high five of death. Yeah. This well, sounds the... like something like The Rock would do. They're so random, and that's the problem. Yeah, because like sometimes you'll be really close to them, they won't even notice if, you're, if you have a uh, meat. But the one time, they'll be, like, derping and want to eat your freaking guts. Sometimes they'll exit and this immediately attack. This sleeping. Come here. Come here. Sit next to this frog. Even though you don't have meat in sleeping. your inventory. This frog is sleeping. Nice. Examine wet frog. Is asleep. Oh, no. They're all after me now. Yeah, but they're locked in. Ooh. Ha, ha, ha. Now, if Stupid only flesh. see what we could do here is use the old bell and call in a bun a Bigfoot to just squash them all. I mean, oh wait, we don't have an old bell. Oh, I can do that. Mm. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. It'll take a long time though. But I admire oh your God. bravery. I've never seen all these frogs and literally just completely coordinated. Oh, I'm punching them now. Oh, I have a dark sword. Where did they go? They ran after five of us, I think. They know five of us is somebody they no, can kill. No, you're letting them out. You let them all out. They were aware that they could kill five of us. This is why they went after him. I don't think I've ever, like, kite frogs. How about tentacles? Really Frog rains are officially over. I like when all rain is over. Just preferably what I like. Uh, where's tentacle spikes? They're in some of the chests in the center. I don't remember exactly which ones. Uh, let's I have here. a question. Probably this one. Yeah, here we go. Would you care if I started doing your telelocator staff method? Um, uh, why? You can just use the... I don't mind if you keep one on you for emergencies, but try to use the lazy deserter instead. Like, if anybody's at base, try to have them bring you back that way, I guess. Or yeah. use a desert stone. Like, bring desert stones with you. That's what I usually do. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't mind you taking the telelocator with you, but, like, we are kind of running out of purple gems a little bit. Can we make, make more? Can make some more? Yeah, but we only have like 11 red gems as well. Oh, dang. We're slowly yeah, we have out. like three stacks of blue gems. Yeah. Well, it's mostly just a contingency plan in case everything else fails. Just being able to get back to base immediately. That's the only reason I have it. But I'm, I'm thinking of some other situations where it could come in handy. 
like in the caves especially i'm thinking i might install one Would down take there you all the way back to base well think about it after we finish killing fuel weaver we can just skip the maze entirely not have to worry about lazy deserters and stuff oh i could go back with the tell locator and then bring everybody back from lazy deserters us. yeah that's what i'm thinking about right now i should actually set that small up small problem what we don't have enough materials uh no uh lazy desert doesn't work from the caves too no, not up here, just from the atrium to the cave's entrance. So that way we don't have to go or bring everybody through. Nobody has to go through the labyrinth then, right? Because that's the yep. part that everybody gets hung up on is because somebody has to go through the labyrinth and they want to bring their backpacks and whatnot. That, that yeah. was what I was planning on doing. A certain me in particular. Yeah, you and Aline both wanted to. Wait, where? What about these beach toys? What are we going to do with them? Okay, I'm um, picking. picking. Eight gold. Yeah, I'm gonna go make that journey. Make it pilgrim. Make it count. I'll make it as useless as possible. <laughs> How dare it's you? It's really. It's gonna give me like what two gold. Hey, there are a whole bunch of uh, frazzled wires over here. You should take them. Wait, did you? Coming. No, I didn't. There should have been some frowls of the somewhere around here. Yeah, here they are. There are six of them. And uh, This guy at my school asked me, um, so he's like pretty new to Don't Starve, and he asked me, how do you get gold? Um, I told him that I'll get back to him on that question. Later that day, we decided to play on our world, and it was like day 100 or something. I went down to the ruins, came back with 20 frazzle wires, Fed them all to Pig King, and said, "There's the answer to your question." Show, don't tell. Yes. Nice. And that was like one glorious rain. Oh wait, what is in that? Oh wait, that was chest. Nice. I bet it was. Yeah, I went in like a chest, and I saw bacon and eggs, and I was confused. Oh. Yeah, that's my bacon and eggs. Just like your backpack, basically. Oh, no. I, what happened to my dark sword? Okay, here we go. Do you know where the frazzled wires are? Yeah, they're in one of the end chests there for the calico white stuff. Whatever you want to call that. Wait, they're not where I left them, though. In the bottom. Oh, wait, here they are. They're in a different one. Okay. Aren't like... Uh, melted marbles, the like best for uh, pig king gold. No. Appreciate and you, once like, again, I got myself into a situation where I didn't have any armor. Well done, Rising. You certainly know how to spank a mean hound. Did you while wearing a Tamo Shanter. Well, at least they got after Chester instead. Oh, it, that's nice. It actually froze me. <laughs> No, this happens to me so frequently. What the problem is my armor is not durable enough to withstand hound assault, basically. Maybe I'll have to hound keep assault. armor in Chester, like full armor. How I just bring I, I just keep two football helmets on me at all times. Okay, that that's probably the solution I should go for. But then again I don't have can improve as much inventory space. I even do when I just have like a normie backpack. Okay. So like, my uh, thanks for the follow, T Football Eight. Uh, by the way, hello. Sorry I didn't get around to your message a little bit earlier. I saw it, but then there were some hounds. So, like base materials, and then um, a dark sword, a football helmet, and a lantern, along with the torch. And how and is that And the four working? basic resources, so that's all eight slots. And it's basically all my backup stuff. This kind of goes in my backpack. So I have, I already know where it is, and in case I need it, I just, I just click on it. And yeah, I, need to go I like that. My bar. Knowing okay. where your stuff is at all times is pretty valuable. Uh, under duress. The Booker. He only gives you one gold per beach toy. Yeah, that's for the ant line mostly. Rip. 
I need to get one more. If you mine a glomer statue, will, will you ever spawn? Yeah. The only reason you should mine it, though, is because it will give you the blueprint for the old bell. Okay, I'm building the telelocator on this side. Where's this wormhole feed? And the focus for the telelocator. There we go. So that'll make it a lot easier for us to get out of the atrium. Is anybody, is anybody at base right now? Uh, that's a good question. I'm going back there right now. Yeah, uh, five us is at the moment. Do you, uh, I, I want to go and figure out where this cave entrance goes from the, from the pig king. Well, the problem is I don't have a pickaxe and can't make one, so I need to go back to base and get... Uh, oh, do you want me to bring you um, back? Do you have a desert spawn? Yeah. Okay, yep. wait for me to touch it. Ready? You can touch it now. Good I job, well done. Nice... Yeah, you got all the way back here from the Pig King. Cool. And I'm completely insane because it lowers your sanity. Just yeah, really it chops bad. off like 50. I think even more. I'm pretty sure I was like really sane. Really? I'm pretty sure it only does 50. I could double check though. Okay, then I'm, I'm probably wrong then. Well, I mean, it's just basically your recollection versus mine at the moment. Lazy deserter, let's see what we got here. Okay, so in order to teleport, one player must first activate the deserter from the destination side. This will initially take 15 and then lock the player in place and generate a constant drain of 50 sanity per minute. The second player right after must activate either the deserter on the other side or right-click on a desert stone in their inventory. This will make the player teleport to the first player that started channeling. Teleporting will take 50 sanity, just like the telelocator staff. If the desert stone is used, it will be consumed in the process. So it should consume 50 sanity when you when you do that. Whereas when I channel you over, it only costs me 15 plus the continuing drain of 50 per minute, depending on how long I hold on to it, right? Yeah. So okay. yeah, it, should, it should only take 50, <laughs> only I say. But yeah, it uh, should have cost you 50 sanity. Cool. This is like just really bad world, Chen. I don't know why you guys even kept this world. What don't you like about it? Everything's in bad locations. There's only one walrus camp. Yeah, I agree uh, on the walrus camp for sure. Like, the pig king is secluded from everything else. Both deserts are secluded from well, everything else. that's because this you insist on settling in both of those areas. That's the reason you see it as bad. Uh, I'm like, much so more flexible. The swamp is on the opposite side of the world from the desert and pig king. Yeah, I guess that's true. A lot. And that's the same with the walrus camp. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. I will agree that is pretty bad world gen there. In my, so in my, like, day 600 one with Sam and Lazy Camel, we have it, so we, our, our thing's literally on the line. We made it by the intersection between the Antline Desert, Dragonfly Desert, and Pig King. And there's a wormhole. One of it, one of them goes directly to the swamp on the other side of the world. And right next to that swamp is a uh, rocky biome. And we have another wormhole right by, right by it that uh, leads to the walrus camp, like right next to it. So that's like really good world gen besides there only being one walrus camp. Yeah, I agree. You don't always get that lucky though. So you have to ask yourself, you know, whether or not, because you just invested at a, at a session, let's say, right? 20 days you've been playing it. You have a really good feel for what it's going to look like from here. You have to decide whether or not you want to continue investing in it or want to start anew. We just decided to keep playing it basically. Like there, there was a I lot of motivation at the time. Of what the map looks like on the solo world that I started. You do what? Have I sent you a picture of what the map looks like? Uh, I think solo I, world? I think of oh the solo world. Uh, no, I don't think so. I saw okay, your pictures of the pig king base thing that you were setting up. Okay, well, I need to send you one of 
this of this one map. What it's, happened to all our like, large meat? What? Oh, somebody made them all the honey hams, didn't they? <laughs> oh, my large me, meat. No. It was totally not me. Really? Let's see here. The person who loves honey hams the most in this entire game. I Look, man, I had to stack a honey. <laughs> I just had to do it. Oh, well, I get six anyway. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. It's like the most deformed map ever. One of the deserts has just a straight, like, so one of the oceans is just a straight line, and it goes on for such a long distance. Wait, is it in the chat? Not yet. I'm logging on the server so I can send a picture. Oh, okay. I'll take a screenshot. Nice. How's my store? And... My base location, I think, is pretty meh. You know what? I just realized I actually had the shell armor. I don't. I think I'm getting rid of that and replacing it with like regular armor because I never use it. Do you, uh, you bring shell armor along? I know it's like a huge thing that a lot of players like to keep towards the end of the game, but I've never found a use for it. Slurtle shell armor? Yeah. I don't think I've ever made it. Well, you don't make it. You get it from Slurtles after you kill them. I don't think I've ever killed a, a Slurtle besides on your world. Like, I, and like any of my worlds, I never really went out hunting them. What well, does it, it do? It's like a superior berry bush. If berry bushes had armor, that's what Slurtle shells are. Oh. Uh, they only have 60% armor defense, though. Uh, well, when you're wearing it on your back. When you're wearing it like this, it's 100%, but it will take damage if stuff attacks it. Uh, so the reason I brought it along is I thought there might be some interesting situations where I wanted to lose aggro from the things that were around me, but I never end up using it. And so I'm thinking Probably. maybe just having a spare, I don't know, a spare football helmet or something inside Chester instead would be more useful to me. Or some spare pig skin. Spare pig skin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd actually... Well, it, yeah, I suppose I could craft that fast enough. Right, because that's I the difference. I in chat, by the way. Okay, if, if we have, for example... Wait, did you put in general? Or media? Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah, My you have base. like a big phallic thing sticking out of the world. That's uh, something else. Where did you build you the base? Little... My base? Wait, what? Where, where is the base in the picture? I'm just... Looking. It is right next to the pig king. Pig king? Oh. You know, I, I have reasoning. Okay. Uh, wow. The wormhole, there's two wormholes. One leads to the other side of the world where the dragonfly is, and the other leads to... um. What, what does it lead to? I forget, but it leads to somewhere good. Oh, the mosaic biome. Uh, and then also the walrus camp is in that forest, so it's really close. And then also there's a beefalo herd on each side, and the gigantic beehive is right down like down the road. I thought you said this was bad region or world gen. That is weird though, the way the desert's set up. Yeah, and also there, there's like a little island right there in the middle of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it is it's literally if you walk through that during antiline season, it's so weird. Because you just keep on going in and out of, like, sandstorm, not sandstorm, sandstorm, not sandstorm. Oh. Wow. <laughs> like, changing biomes so rapidly. Do you guys what? want to uh, call me over? Okay. Now, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I just gotta move, get my way. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. I'm Magic ready. sand rock. Yes. Could I couldn't have said it better. I'm glad they made it co very cost sensitive for the people who actually bring the others over, right? Because they realized that somebody would have to be in the base a lot of the time, and they would be constantly called upon to transfer other people into the base. But you know, they went ahead and said, "Yeah, it's only 15 sanity instead." Yay, Clay didn't want to screw us over. Not totally. Actually, Clay is one of my favorite developers in terms of their practices. 
But, but they made... I don't like, know why like, people hate them so much. So most, like, I, I agree, like, most of the time I think that they're pretty good. Problem is that I, I just think it's kind of greedy that they made Don't Starve together instead of just adding multiplayer to Don't Starve. Greedy? They sold it for, like, a song. The game Wait. could easily have charged $40 for it. A yeah, game like, with this much depth to it? But, like, charging for a whole new game, that is literally just the multiplayer. It they just gave it away to a whole bunch of people, though. Everybody who yeah. owned single player before this started got a copy of the multiplayer DST. Really? Yeah, that's how I got it. Oh. I did not know that then. Okay, I take it back. Yeah, it was free oh, actually... for all of us. Oh. I got it because a friend gifted it to me like three years ago. Three? Okay. It was very close to like the release date. Let's when do Beak Queen. Like, Let's two, see what happens. Two or three years ago, I think. Seems like that long, at least. We should do Beak Queen. I don't have time. Okay, maybe I'll just do it then. Ooh, I guess we need more silk first. This would be a good try trial here. Five of us, could you uh, give me a charge? Then I'm gonna log off because I want to be like fully charged for Jewel Weaver. We are planning on doing that start of tomorrow, right? Yep. Okay. Maybe I should focus on that then. Is there anything that I don't have that I need? I'm waiting on suggestions on what we're forgetting because I know we're gonna forget something. I was planning Five on those. Come this. over to my charge area. I have books for you and stuff. Give me a nice uh, hit of the speed. I found three red gems in the spider area. Awesome. Isn't speed like some like hood nickname for like amphetamines or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'm not crazy, and my joke is semi-correct. <laughs> Carge? Yeah. Carge. Drosh wants you to overcharge him by reading the end of Here's your book. Well, what does Carge here. mean? I think he meant charge, question mark. Oh. He doesn't... Speak yeah, English as in first language, I don't think. So, okay, let's see here. Good old Urban Dictionary. Can you tell us the definition of speed? Yeah, it's an amphetamine. There you go. So you're yeah. spot on. Oh yeah, like drug etiquette. You can light me up. It's okay. Do it. This is, you see, this is like, this is uh, how I like to get my shocker right in line. I do it while I'm getting zapped by lightning. Yeah, that's enough. Can I, can I have the book back? I'm confiscating it. Thanks. Oh, good night. Good night. See you guys for uh, Fuel Weaver tomorrow. Yeah, hope it goes well. Yeah, maybe we'll only need to roll back once. Right. Could always happen. <laughs> it depends upon, I think, how many people we end up with. If we get a solid three, I think we're good. If not, probably we'll have to roll back. What can I say? I need to practice more. Maybe that's what I should do. <sighs> Just spend the rest of this time trying to solo Phil Weaver. Otherwise, what we could do is um, join like a new public server. Try to do that speedrunning stuff that all the pros are so fascinated with. Dude, bro, did you hear? K 
kill dragonfly by day two. Where do we have green blue mushrooms? They're in the caves. Right by the base? Yeah, just go down there. You'll see it. Okay, we have quite a few beekeepers hats actually here. Very nice. So... Unfortunately, we don't have too much night. So I won't have to run around that long. Probably want to keep one beekeeper hat on me though. 16 silk. Don't need Tam. Don't need Ibrella. Oh, I can actually just use this. Oh no, I can't because I, I need armor. <laughs> I need chest armor. Okay. Where are you, Chester? That's better. I want you to be in relative safety when this goes down. Now oh, what else? Don't need a pamphlet. I mean, I could use the star collar, I suppose. Or should I have gotten a better ham bat? Maybe I should. Do you think so, Chester? Our ham bat's pretty bad right now. I guess I'll go and get a better one. So right there is our first note to make for Bee Queen. I'm just starting the list here. I'm gonna need a ham bat. First mistake made, wonderful. Can you help? I don't know. I wouldn't want both of us to die. Did someone call for a ham bat? Oh, you're back. Welcome back. Ham bat, yes, indeed. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to solo bee queen here. I okay. said, I told Josh I could do it. I want to see if I can do it again. I've only done it once so far. <laughs> Okie dokie. And in some ways, I feel like I still lucked out on that one. So I'm gonna try to solo it again and see if I can do it. Because to me, that's what helps make the game interesting, is figuring out what you got wrong. And that's why I'm actually keeping lists now of stuff that I need. Ooh, as it turns out, we don't have the required meat. Oh, and all those frog legs rotted there. Hmm, Another, pigs. Another uh, frog rain, I presume? Oh, yeah, yeah, we had a big one. That other one earlier lasted for like 30 seconds. I'm gonna try to solo it. Five of us. Solo. Yeah. I'm putting a lot at stake. But yeah, I also just watched that video you made raising. You're one of the few people here, I think, that does. <laughs> what? Most of the people in the Discord are like one step past that, it seems. What about it? It is good. You like the mods? Yep. You probably know all of them already, so. It really wasn't designed with people who already like follow all the mods and stuff in mind. Yeah. The, the idea well, is I mean, I... to sort of surface mods for people who don't pay much attention to the workshop. Mods that they might be interested in. Yeah. To tell the truth, I actually, uh, what's it? The, uh, Green World. I actually didn't know what was in it because it was very, like, the description was oddly worded. Oh. Yeah, I spent an entire ten minutes or so on that. Most videos, when I record them, they end up being somewhere from 20 to 30 minutes usually. And end up cutting like half of that out for the final product. Yeah. 
Because nobody wants to watch that much. Yeah, some people do, some people don't. Some well, it, people it, skip, some people don't. There's so much silence in it. Like, <laughs> Why oh, would you no, want to watch that? I thought you meant for a longer video. Oh. No, most of the stuff I caught out was just silence or me making mistakes and flubbing lines. Ah, uh, okay. So any hint on the, what the next mods you're going to be reviewing? No, I usually just do it week by week kind of thing. I don't have like a grand master plan or anything like that. I just keep tabs on ones that people show me or ones that I've noticed and thought are kind of cool. I spend about an afternoon just playing around with them, seeing what I like, uh, what I think uh, of them. And then you basically get the review kind of thing. It's not meant to be a review per se. It's like documenting my experience with it so far and why I thought it was cool. So I expect to have made mistakes. Uh, that's why I felt like maybe I was originally going to review something. I don't, know, I don't want to call it review. I was really going originally going to cover Fuffles mod, but then you know Fuffles knows so much about it that I don't, and I could just not do it justice. I'd have to spend like an entire day just going over the features of that mod to make sure I got them absolutely correct. And at the end of the day, I just felt yeah, I couldn't do it justice, so I didn't do it at all. Oh. And then yeah, he took it down, so that was okay, as it turns out in the end. I would, I would have just had a link was, to a non-existent mod. Why was it taken down? Uh, apparently, he it wasn't done yet, and a lot of people felt that, or I guess there there were more than an average number of complaints about its state of incompletion. Ah. Uh. So he went and like took it down until he could finish it, but then he sort of got distracted on other side projects. But I think other community members who are interested in doing something like that before have kind of picked it up where it left off. Hmm. But I can't be sure. He hasn't been quite as active around in my Discord anymore. Which is fine. People move on. And probably life got the better of him. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to li lately. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that he was even around to begin with because he seemed to be both talented both as an artist and as a programmer. And obviously I, I don't actually make mods i just sort of look at them so yep okay should i wait for morning nah let's do this now and then it starts raining like a typhoon out there No, oh, there's no turning back. Oh, actually, there is turning back now. Oops. Can't hit Sorry, twice. I'm just uh, getting us some uh, glow. I mean, some light bulbs. Okay, I gotta For rearrange this. Reasons. If I seem a little bit unresponsive, it's probably because I'm monkey around with the bee queen at the moment. I really wish that there was like a glowberry plant you can, I mean not glowberry, a, a light bulb plant you can plant on the surface. Oh, this is really something else, isn't it? Yeah, I wish you could plant them in like flower pots, that'd be cool. Oh, you can. Yeah, but you, they don't, wait, can you pick them? The end table has a flower pot. Yeah, I know you can plant them in there, but usually they didn't work, I thought. Do they no, actually they work? Do. Oh. Yeah, they do now. It was a oh, so why can't you do that then, I guess? Uh, you can't harvest them. It's only for decor. Okay. So, it's not possible to use them in the capacity that you'd probably be interested in. Yeah. Like, use them uh, for a farm. Yeah. Like, I don't know... 
the bush you have to fertilize every now and then to produce more light bulbs and it doesn't have that large of a uh, light radius. I was hoping night would be over with by now. I already broke my log suit. Hmm. Come on, daytime. I'm ready to be done with this. Okay, here we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to open up the rest of my pierogies. Based on how this is going so far. Not good. Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm not sure it's not good, but... It's consuming a bit more than I originally anticipated. Mm. Let's see how it goes. If it just starts going completely bad, I'll uh, tap out. I won't, I won't bother re-rolling or anything like that. Just try to learn from my mistakes. For that. Well, I, I don't feel it's fair to the other people who invest time in the server to roll it back on them just because I didn't like the way something turned out. Uh, it has to be unanimous, basically. Like, we well, go in I mean, to fight I've... Fuel Weaver and we all die, or start dying. Yeah, that is kind of unanimous on how we want to re-roll after everyone dies. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if you ever need help with like a mod review on a more complex mod, just ask me since I've been perusing this workshop quite a bit. Okay, thanks. But a suggestion for the next mod review is Musha, due to the fact that the uh, mod maker has only ever reviewed the mod in uh, Korean. Is that the one that we played? Uh, Musha is the one I was playing. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seemed to be a fairly complex mod. I'd be willing to take a deeper look at it. Because they introduced, like, a magic system and everything to it? Yep. It, it wasn't Mana. just a different... Oh, it wasn't just, like, a character that was like, Oh, look, pop culture reference. Up, up votes. Yay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they actually been working on that mod for such a long time. Okay. I think from the start of Don't Starve Lifespan, from why I saw the beta... In single, the single player or like the DST? Yeah. Oh, wow. Single player. Yeah, they ported it over and just slowly built it back up in DST. Wow. I think it's like one of the oldest mods. It's still updating. I'd be interested in a little bit more of the history in it sometime. Because it does sound pretty fascinating. Oh, caught another hit there. But yeah, speaking of pop culture mods and all that, yeah, there's a mod that lets Winona eat uh, her take on the workshop right now that's on the front page. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's everything we expected, isn't it? Yep. Eat tape. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to do that? Now, interesting idea is, let WX use the tape for healing. Yeah, I guess I could get on board. Because technically, duct tape fixes everything. 
So this is the part that I'm not too sure about. Like when she starts enraging. Is it a time-based thing? Or is it a damage-based thing? I think uh, it's time. When she get, Yeah, most likely time. Hmm. But yeah, currently I'm just refilling our miners' hats since I noticed about 90% of them were empty because no one's been refilling them. Why does she seem slower now, too? I she think it's like a tired cycle after enraging. Hmm. You're now she's trying to stay closer to the uh, bumbles. Yeah, but I mean, I, I've done this in the past where she was actually further away. Like, what am I doing wrong this time? Oh, great rain. Mm -hmm. Rain, go to another server and bother them while they're, I don't know, fighting a... Yeah, it seems, it seems it's a damage-based thing, then. Oh, no, no, okay, now she's enraging. Hmm. Oh, had to have bats in it, apparently. Wonderful. Yeah, that's not working. Hmm. Because the usual tactic is just to walk from end to end. You want me to get to work on that cobblestone? No, I don't think that's the problem. Wait, did I actually lose her? I think 15 is too much, then. Wait, where is she? Yeah, okay, yeah, she went back. Okay, 15 is too much. If you stand on 15, she will go back. Do you have to always stay on 14 or less? Okay, well. Live and learn. Yep. Sometimes the hardest lessons are the ones you remember the best. I'll wrap the hand bat as well. I'll go and farm up some more spiders for the silk. By the way, I think there's a lot of rot by beefalo. A lot of what? Rot. I just think there is because uh, that's where I took a bunch of frogs. I just dropped my umbrella back there and I forgot to pick it up. Good job. So the 50% mark, that's easy enough. It's when you get below 50% that things start getting picky. Tricky, tricky. Why do I feel so slow all of a sudden? I don't know. So what I should do for this road is I create a little sign that says this is the correct way to go to the base. And I won't keep making those wrong turns there. You want me to add a little, uh, dig up some turf and put road there? Uh, I think it's too late in the game to justify that. It's probably the last time I'll go over there, as a matter of fact. If you think about it. I'm just going to start preparing for a fuel weaver tomorrow. Rather than burn through all my food and stuff. Trying to fight Bee Queen. I wish butter wasn't so rare. 
And the thing is, you waffles? have to kill the butterflies while they're on the ground. You can't kill them in your inventory to get butter. Really? Yeah. Mm. That sound, seems strangely arbitrary. I think it's because the game doesn't know what to give you, so it just goes with the highest draw. But I mean, if you think about it... killing so many at a time. In terms of, let's say, an exploit, it wasn't possible to duplicate them until the saddle came along anyway. No, you can't duplicate live butterflies. It's their wings, you know. Oh, right, right. Even with the saddle, that wouldn't work then. It'll just give you a wings. bunch of dead butterflies mm -hmm. instead of live ones. And of course, you're not going to be getting butter from any of those. Makes it wonder. They made some of the best healing foods the rarest. Making you actually want to preserve one food item at a time, annoyingly. I think I'm turning these frog legs into eggs. From legs to eggs. Eggs to legs? What? No, that doesn't make any sense. I've currently been trying to uh, unlock the Eldritch Staff and we need to go deeper. Wait, why does that name sound familiar? Is there some other game that has an Eldritch staff in it? Um, or have you mentioned it before? No. First time I mentioned it. Hmm. It's it's a one percent chance of it being dropped by a time traveler. What kind of genre would you say that game is? Mm. It's hard to tell. It's like uh, it's like sci-fi fantasy, I think. Okay, here are the green caps. Wait, is this even... Does this make any sense? Would what? it make more sense to simply eat blue caps and then eat green caps to balance it out in terms of the sanity instead of cooking them into pierogies? I don't know. I think that would be more efficient, actually. I just finished cooking up this batch, but yeah. Because each of these is worth, what, 15 sanity? When it's cooked? I should know these values better. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay, green mushrooms. Cooked, yeah, it's 15. And when you eat a blue mushroom raw, it's 15. So for every blue cap you eat plus green cap, you gain a total of 19 health and some insignificant amount of hunger. So basically, one pierogi would be the rough equivalent of two blue caps. It's hard to justify, isn't it? I might just go full blue cap, green cap strat then. Because they're I'm pretty fast to eat. I'm just going to go full uh, blue caps because I'm going to need to be insane for the fight anyways. Okay. Since, well, I'm the one who's going to be dealing with the shadow hands. Yeah. But, like, you can really force feed yourself these things. Yeah. That's why people like Dragon Pie. Mm hmm. It's just right. so darn spammable. So did you farm on full moon? Yep. 
Okay. Hmm. On the downside to this, yeah. I do have to cook all of them to make it work. Yeah. Hey, what I did you want to give, give me? You some leafy meat. Mm. Uh, just oh, turn it into you eggs. Want to refill your uh, miner's hat? No, well, there's some light bulbs in the fridge. Uh, there should be a whole bunch of lanterns that. Could be refilled right there. No. Take a look at them. Oh, you filled them all? Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah, I said I did. I just realized it's a real pain to cool yourself down in the spring. Yep. Because, because the thermal stones are not as cold. Wait, are oh, they? no, they are. They just don't have the visual effect. Zero degrees. Yeah, that's... they don't have the visual. Okay, let's stand over here by this thing and see if we still cool down. Mm-hmm, okay. It's the same, then. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, thermal this stones are a little bit mysterious. Yep, no clue why they actually gave uh, them their ability if you have to feed them to the antlion now. I mean, I understood before when uh, a public server you would have a million of them laying around, but, well, now that you have to feed them to antlion, then why, why do you need to have them break again? Apparently they thought they were too good. Got to nerf the good stuff. Mm. Well. I just remember why we need all that, the papyrus, too. We need more uh, grow books. Applied horticulture? Yep. For a grass. There should be like 18 left. Well, Josh didn't use it all. I thought you remade pan flutes with them. Oh, they hardly took any. There was still f roughly 40 left and I got finished with that. And then Josh used about half of it, which brought us down to 18 or so. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of wax paper. Good. Next update, wax paper gains durability. <laughs> But it already has the. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I was say, it already has a durability of sorts, doesn't it? Like every time you unwrap well, it, you basically have to remake it. Yeah, but I mean, the paper itself. Oh, are we really down Make to. so you have to... What? Okay. No. I thought we were down to only four of pigskin, but we actually have a bunch. Will who? Who needs dragon ply? Uh, I'm uh, working on blue cap, green cap. Save them for the fight. Yeah. Technically, would be better. Oh, that reminds me of uh, raising uh, the uh. I forgot what I was about to say. Good job, Brain. Thank you. Very appreciated. 
Do you still uh, have five of us? Can you uh, help me? Do you still have what? one of those mushroom hats for the blue? Oh, I can make a new one. There's there is not one in the bundling wrap or anything. Uh, let me check. There's a green fun cap. Yeah, that's the only one. I think the blue one because of actually I never made the blue one. Because we were, uh, it was winter when I got it, remember? So there was no point in making it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of planting some more. I made a red one, which, who cared about the red one? I guess you did. I Thanks. only had it because it lasts the longest, and it gives a slower hunger. This is a real grandma cap if I've ever seen one. <laughs> It looks like an old swimmer's cap. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, five of could you craft me the book? <laughs> the items are over here on the ground. Hey, look, the, uh, what's his name, bro? I don't know. What is it? The, uh, pig pen thing. Yeah, do it. No. I don't care. It would take too long. Uh, the Dad, only exception is... likely use dragon pies to tame it. Oh, he has a bunch of dragon pies. That's the point. It takes two stacks to fully tame one. He has one stack. Halfway there. I don't know. We're close to the end of the server. Why do you care? Use it. Use everything you can. So, Fivos, can you make me the book? I don't have a lantern. But yeah, they. I never got why they uh, made the uh, thing, the uh, what's its name, so hard to uh, you know, tame the beefalo hard to tame. I don't think we ever will. Like they made to the point where, why do I want to do this? It'll take three times longer taming it than it would actually having me be able to walk it over or get you, bucked off a million times uh still faster yeah i said bucked off a million times it's still faster to get bucked off a million times yep yep because why do you want to tame it for 15 days then move your part then have your beef flow untamed because you're not taking care of it every day well, that's why they have a salt luck in it. You still need to feed it now. Wait, when was this change made? I don't know, but I thought the whenever salt I kept tried its... riding domestication from going down, you still need to feed it to ride it. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. Still planning on scouting out this area. There might be a hutch over here. A hutch, a hutch, a hutch? No, just a plain hutch. I must say, this blue mush cap does not spawn many spores. Well, I mean, it's the best one of the bunch. Oh, there we go. It just plopped one out? Yep. Hey, well, you just made the investment back. Well, I have a total of two so far. That oh, I got. Then you made double. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, did you know uh, the mushroom planters have a chance of uh, spawning a spore once fully grown? Seems it's information I knew at one point, but I hadn't remembered until you mentioned it. It's like a low chance, but while well, still a chance. Huh. Guess I'll plant the two that I have. I was hoping to make 80 before the fight. Eh. I have 80 in my backpack. Yeah, but aren't they partially spoiled? I wanted the freshest ones possible. Oh, I bundled. They're the original bundled. Okay. I just They're realized... I bundled a few seasons ago. The textures on them are really low quality. Oh. On what? On the spores. Yep, a lot of textures are low quality if you look at them. Mm -hmm. Even fences have low quality textures. So the question is, will the spore be still down there if I go back down? Because one spawned knows? and then I went back up accidentally. Who knows? Oh yeah, it's still down here. Very nice. The bunnies ate a bee. What hypocrites. Why is that hypocritical? They are against murder. Oh, no, they're against meat eaters. Then why do they yell out murder? Well, they see the fact that you have meat in your inventory as evidence that you are a murderer. It's kind of like seeing somebody walk away from a corpse holding a bloody knife. You would say, murderer. And I would hmm. say, why are you calling me a murderer? Funny thing is, they're against people who also carry leafy meat. Really? Because it still counts as a meat. Yeah, I mean, I guess if Wigfred can eat it, it should count as a meat, then shouldn't it? It's only fair. Though I don't get why. Because Consistency. it's a vegetable. It just looks like meat. Yeah, but I mean, if Wigfred's willing to eat it, then the it makes sense that the bunnies are willing to kill for it. Because it, it's, she says, looks close enough. And I imagine the bunnies would say the same thing. Most likely. So I remember back when I was first playing Reign of Giants a long time ago. I survived through the winter, like my first winter. I survived through it like on a st steady diet of rabbits, which I turned into meatballs. Actually, this was regular Don't Starve. Then when Don't Starve Reign of Giants came out... I was thinking, what? How can I possibly survive through the winter if I start in the spring and there are no rabbits? Because I was trapping them for the the one morsel. It was hard to get anything done playing that way, at least during the winter, because pretty much the entire time you'd spend farming Checking rabbits. Your traps. Yeah, you'd, you'd head out, mm. check the rabbit trap, bring Reminds back enough to keep yourself from dying. Reminds me of this one Let's Player who did that basically because he didn't know how the game worked and it. The game was still being developed at the time. Mm. Like, they still had the weekly updates. So it was before All's Well at Maxwell? Mm. It was before Adventure Mode. Oh, before Adventure Mode even. I actually, it was actually have before a lot of things. Even chests is when he started. Oh wow! Well. All's well that Maxwell is, because I originally bought the game from like humble store, I think. So humble I had Bundle? well, humble bundle has their own store, right? I think it's called humble uh. store. I bought it from there, and they give you the option to directly download it, which I did. 
So I have a very old version of the game that's still stuck on all's well at Maxwell. Basically. It never updated? Uh, you can update it, but like the installer is set for all's well at Maxwell, so if you reinstall it and then tell it not to update again, you'll be able to play out in that version. I was just really interested to see if somebody had like one of the really older versions. Like when did they start first start selling it on Humble Bundle? I imagine there's an installer floating around for that. Like one of the much earlier ones. They, I don't think I got it as soon as they started selling it on Humble Bundle. So there's probably an older one out there. I just like to, you know, play through it to see how things were back then. It's a shame they don't sell like the older versions of it or something like that. I suppose it dilute the brand and confuse people, but like for me, it's interesting it to see how it progressed. Have you ever heard of somebody like playing on an older one yet or anything like that? No, I've seen it, but that was long ago when the game was still being developed on Humble. Mm. Yeah, because you can't do that on Steam. Steam always pushes the latest updates on you. Actually, you can uh, roll back a version on Steam if oh. you know what you're doing. That's a good point. I know for Seven Days to Die, you could do different betas, but you can't do that here. It's just Actually, um, shipwrecked or not shipwrecked. That's the only option. I oh, know, um, hounds. What do we do? I remember like uh, someone did a tutorial for it. Mm -hmm. Like um, I don't know. Like they did a tutorial on how to set like certain games who don't even have the options to previous versions, and they tested it with Subnautica. How did that back go? into like the early alphas. Oh, they're just beating up Chester. Very nice. What are you doing with the hounds these days? Beating them up with a tankle spike? I guess that works. And Fivos is just running around in circles, <laughs> probably waiting for help. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. Now nah, Fivos and I got it. Okay. <laughs> a five O's and a Maxwell working together. What? No, no. It's a wicker and a Max. The perfect old couple working together. I think Maxwell is a lot older than wicker, though. Really? Yeah, probably. He's been hanging around. Since, well, when he uh, no longer had the magic of the Nightmare Throne keeping him together, he just uh, crumbled into dust. No, oh, there we go. But does it make you wonder, if he turned to dust, then how is he still alive? Uh-oh. Did I crash? No, okay. You mean after being released from the throne? Mm-hmm. Those are the plot holes. And that's why uh, in the comic he just shrugs it off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. For Cyclone? Yep. Ooh. Probably them aren't finished using him as a puppet. It's as good an explanation as any. Okay, how many do we have here? Four, what? seven. Still not enough. What? Mushrooms.
You want me to make a mush cap so we can get that produce doubles the spores? That... Do you want to? Oh, I just found another I one. I don't know. Yeah, this one's almost half done. And it looks like it caught a total of eight spores from it. So I guess you could deduce that you'd get roughly 16. Yeah, which isn't half bad. If you no, but it just it. takes forever. Well, I mean, it has to have a balance somehow. I mean, uh, mushrooms are mushrooms. They're powerful in every way. Mm -hmm. But the green fungal cap produces spores a lot faster. But maybe what we could do is have like everybody wear them and then I'll just run around catching the ones. Everyone just goes down to the atrium and we have mushroom planters down there and a week's worth of food. There's a spider queen that we might want to fight here. Uh, can we just make a trebuchet and blow it up? Uh, where do trebuchets come from? I don't know, I just was thinking. How can we kill a spider queen? Trebuchet and explosives. Nice. Hey, well, it would work in a real life scenario. Blow up a giant spider with <laughs> explosives. Yeah, we could uh, introduce like siege warfare. To don't starve, you have to siege your opponent's base with trebuchets. Might yeah. actually not be a bad idea. Someone made a bow mod. Yeah. I, I mean, just improving on the entire fortification system in DST, yeah. more or less. It could use help. Imagine if you could make uh, roof tiles. I mean, like, actually build a little compartmented house. No, no, like you would place like a structure and you could see down through it, but it would give shade and rain protection. Oh, yeah, like a like a Sims kind of house, I suppose. Hmm. I was thinking maybe make it out of shroom skin to balance it out. I mean, I'd be in favor of it. Yeah, it would be an interesting idea. I just heard another uh, thing be catched. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my net broke at the same time. I have a net if you want it. It's 100%. Oh, that must be the other one that I left behind, huh? I just picked it up because it was in the middle of the ground. Yeah. I just left it there because I was planning on doing more with it later. Uh. Where did I leave the dragon fruit that I picked? Oh, there it is. Was an accident. Hey, well, we have uh, four stacks of grass. But we're making log suits. Hmm. Good point. I still don't have the log suits that I require. Well, we have a bunch of logs and grass now. <sighs> I guess I'm going to try to take out this spider next. Since it's over there. Also, would it be more efficient to uh, bring rope down or just grass? Grass. Hmm. Isn't Why grass is more efficient than rope? Because rope only stacks to 20. Yes. But it would but be more efficient, yeah, it would be. I was asking since it takes uh, three grass per rope. Yeah, it would be. Like 33%, so I imagine. So if I take down 80 grass, then divide it by 3, I can make 26 rope. Which in turn, that's good for about 13 log suits. Oh. So I'll You've just bring magic. down 40 grass. I mean 40 rope. Forty whole rope. Sounds like a lot. 
Hey, well, I am prepping for everyone, basically. Thanks. Because I haven't been <laughs> prepping for the armor. Hey, if, because I'm bringing down, like, 40 uh, log suits, you don't need to worry. Might be in. Well, all too much. You still probably need to worry a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm only bringing down enough logs suits for me, basically. AK-5. And then everyone else can fight over the, uh, 35. Oh, it's daytime up there. Yep. <sighs> I just want one more mushroom. Come on. I'll spoil in one point seven days. So does do all the fun caps have the same stats? Um I think the red one lasts the longest. But I mean like in terms of hunger reduction and everything. Yes. Okay. They're the same in hunger reduction and rain protection. And also cooling. Summertime cooling. Nice. Dang, I only have enough logs on me for, uh, ten log suits. Dang, you need a lot of logs for this fight to make a lot of armor. Yeah. Spooter. Well, I just, I just, do we need any magical staves other than star collar? I don't think so. Should I be wearing anything on my head during the fight? Well, you need to stay insane, right? Yeah. Well, pretty insane. It's like minimum amount of sandy I need is 50. I mean, maximum I need is 50 for the fight to go well. Hello! Good evening. Hey, Song. Did, did you see the criticism Raisin gave you? <laughs> no. Um, that the eggs need to have more shading? Yep. Yeah, I, I saw that. Uh... I, I could only half hear the video because I was watching it while outside, um, waiting for fast food at Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I appreciate the criticism. Constructive criticism! Yay! Okay, I have to draw. <sighs> okay, so for biology, we're doing our poster on spider the benefits of spiders on the environment and so i am going to draw a spider maid and a spider butler and the front of the poster is going to say spiders are our friends really are... and they're going to be styled like weber you're making them sound more like servant kind of friends though hmm in a way they do serve us in the world Okay, yeah. fair enough. We use their silk, we use their yeah. venom, yeah, they exploit get rid the of spiders. <laughs> of five of us, do you just have five? I mean, the eight log suits, or do you have the resources to craft eight log suits? I've got 12 logs here. Well, we got enough logs. Okay. Ah, uh, so you just have the log suits in general. That means you won't be able to bring much to the fight. Okay, I'm gonna download a picture of a butler. That's basically uh, half of your inventory gone. That's the way you do it. Cause I want to get this done fast, and I don't want to spend forever on anatomy. Rawr. Spider human anatomy isn't gonna be the easiest. Are you allowed to use clip art? Um. Well, I'm drawing my own thing. And yes, we are allowed to use clip art, but there's no such thing as spider butlers yet. Okay. <laughs> you never know. 
Okay, I'll Google it. Hold on a sec. Oh, here we go. Song. The rate at which artwork is produced, I'd be surprised that is if there wasn't. What? A spider butler. Clip art. The What's picture the... Alien sent me is disturbing. How? Oh my word, there is! <laughs> <laughs> it's an Undertale OC. That oh no, no. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna PM it to you, Alien. No. no. Hey, did somebody pick up my town? I think they did. I'm gonna have to be more careful what I do with that in the future. Or did you let break? I'm pretty sure I didn't. The reason I had to take it off is because it started raining out. I think maybe I left it over at Bee Queen, actually. Yeah, I think that's what happened to it. But yeah, we have uh, five stacks of grass now after me making a bunch of uh, thing. Either the Spider Butler character is really popular or this guy just commissioned everybody. <laughs> Most likely the latter. Yeah, here you can make some pretty good money commissioning for fandoms if you're a good artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because everyone wants to be that <laughs> art that you make. Yeah, especially the NSFW communities. I kind of love doing it. I mean, what? Wait, do you... Are you trying to commission more or not? Um, I've done two NSFW commissions. Hmm. And those are the only two commissions at all that I've completed. <laughs> I still am working on my friend's Don't Start Character Commission, and I keep forgetting about it. Uh. Hmm. And this is why I'm so apprehensive about uh, commissioning you. Well, the thing is, I never have somebody pay me until after it's done. Oh, that doesn't seem nice. Because stuff like this happens. Hmm. Or Wait, I'm so if they paid it. you up front, would you complete it on time? Um, I have trouble remembering and getting stuff done, so I refuse to take payment up front. Okay. Like, I will send it back if I can. And then what if it's a non-refundable thing? And, well, then free money. <laughs> yeah, jerk. In all seriousness, you didn't realize I sent you that forty dollars on Steam. What? You're joking, right? I hope so. <laughs> what would you do if I wasn't? I'd say, oh shit, this is almost as important as my homework. <laughs> <laughs> But here, let me then send you over 30. No. Why? What are you commissioning? A uh, character mod of his OC. Oh. Really? I didn't know about that. It's an axolotl. It's his avatar. Really cute. <laughs> Why does everyone like axolotl? I don't know. Wait, you're saying that's an OG or an OC character? You that's want me to send redundant. you a picture of it uh, raising? Well, I mean, I can see your profile of it. It's not the full art, and I have multiple images. Oh, it, does it belong to like some greater universe or what? Eh, just something I made because bored one night, a bit out of it with a friend, and well, this was created. Fair enough. Why is this turkey just free roam? It's a free range turkey. Maybe I should start telling people if you send me the money before the commission is completed, I will consider it a gift and not part of the commission payment. Oh, well, don't they traditionally do evil. like a 50 down, 50 later? Um... No, that depends on the artist. Yeah, it does, and I don't trust myself to remember anything. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Raising, I just sent you an image of the Exotel. Okay. I kept forgetting about this biology art I'm supposed to do, and <laughs> I have to have it done by Sunday. 
and it's Friday night. It's got a very oh. green link look to it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Song. Like the this only costed me five dollars. Yeah, you told me. Can you Wait, which that? one was the one that only costed you a few cents? Uh, this one. Ten Wait, cents. is this like a fiver thing? Nope. Just look on DA and look around. You find people who have commission prices open. Mm. Because Fiverr sort of has a reputation for underpaying what? artists. This is so cute so far. What is? My spider butler. <laughs> What should I name him? I need to give him a cute name, even if no one will ever know it. Steve. Weber. I was thinking Steve, but not Weber. That'd, that'd be copyright. <laughs> Why not? Wait, how did we have the same idea for the name? Webley. No, no, I was saying Steve. How? Well, Steve's a common name. Mm. For True. spiders? And actually, I was almost named Steve. Well, if I would have been a guy, I would have been named Steve. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna give him a little bit of pigs want rot. Steve can be your alter ego. Look at all these pigs. Actually, my male persona name is I'm. What, like I'm's cat food? No, just I am. Hmm. His middle name is A, A Y E, and his last name is Hottie. H A W T T I E. Okay, I can't, I can't tell if this is for real now. <laughs> yeah, nor can I. Yeah, that's my, that's my male persona name. Why would you need one? And, and w wouldn't it? I... Wouldn't it be more useful to make a convincing one that, like, Facebook would accept and everything? Oh, not like that. Like, I kind of named the two halves of my personality, so. Okay. It's it's not what I would call myself if I was going to try to be disguised as a guy. Hmm. Or would it? Bum, bum, bum. If I was going to be a guy, I'd probably want to go something like, oh, wow, Israel, um, Daniel, um, you know, some... Pretty Old Testament, huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Israel because of this guy um, I used to like who looked a lot like me, and then Daniel because my brother's name is Daniel. Be warned, you might have a bunch of memes. Wait, what? <laughs> Damn, Daniel. I don't what know are those? <laughs> uh, then uh, you're lucky you haven't been in high school. Yeah, I was homeschooled most of high school. Lucky. And by most of high school, I mean my um, two years that I spent on American government. <laughs> I went to a co-op, and apparently in junior high, they taught us high school material. And in high school, they taught us um, college material. And I ended up dropping out because they stopped offering high school. Um, yeah. So I got more education than I expected. Hmm. Probably not That's a bad thing. Good. I didn't get good grades, though. <laughs> so they pulled one of those on you, huh? They tried to make you feel terrible by sticking you in the wrong grade? Well, they didn't tell us they were giving us higher level work. I don't even know if all the teachers knew it. Actually, sounds mm -hmm. a bit more manipulative then. 
Probably a, a experiment or whatever they're trying. Yeah, it's Facebook covertly ex employing them. Best part is, um, this is a funny story. It has a little bit of religion, though. Is that okay? Yeah. So, the co-op I went to was a Christian co-op, and mm -hmm. I had an English assignment. And in this Christian co-op English assignment, I used the word hell while referring to a place. I got flunked on that assignment because the teacher didn't like that. Wait, but there is a such a place, right? Especially in Christian beliefs, yeah. which is why it cracked me up. Like what? Oh, what? wait, wait, no, 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 no. There are like a whole bunch of different denominations. Some believe in it and some don't, right? Oh, she believed is... in hell, all right. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Well, I suppose I'd get in a lot of trouble then. Huh? <laughs> I'll admit, adding that is... And again, is... that teacher also hated me because her mm. children hated me and her children were jerks. Mm. <laughs> Seems to be a conflict of interest then, best serving your students while at the same time playing favorites with your children. <laughs> now, I was going to say, I've thinking... had questions about like whether or not I should keep my name the way it is because of that. Um. Like, it's not the most family-friendly kind of name. I don't see a problem with it. Meh. It's a bit of a play on Raising Hell, and, like, Raising Hell is kind of acceptable. When I was little, I was allowed to say hell, but I wasn't allowed to say heck. That's just weird. Extremely. That is really weird. <laughs> Usually it's the exact opposite, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That wasn't the only teacher that hated me. My math teacher, when I went into high school, I was a grade ahead in math. Um, by by the school standards, by regular standards, I was going into college material. Um, she hated me because apparently her friend and my mom had a falling out like decades ago. And she, so she knew who my mom was from her friend. And so she hated me for it. Well, nothing to do with me. I'm a nice person. Yeah, that doesn't seem fair. The sins of our fathers, huh? Nani? What? Deal? <laughs> Deal, Smeal? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm back in the atrium and I found Hutch. That's where we left him. Woohoo! But unfortunately, my, my connection got worse. I need to post this picture so far. It's so cute. I'm posting it in off topic. Wait, which languages did you speak again, Fivos? I think he's just referencing JoJo in anime. Oh. Ha ha! The bees are retaliating! The bees are now attacking you, Fivos! I'm falling in love with this picture. It is so cute. Wait, suppose you just went ahead and farmed out all of your commissions to somebody on Fiverr who did it for cheaper. Um, <laughs> I think people would notice by the art style change, and also I would feel like a horrible person. Most likely. Yep. Plus, I don't think that's legal. <laughs> uh, you so sure about that? Why wouldn't it be legal? You're basically just playing... Selling, selling somebody else's art? Yeah. I mean, companies will do that all the time, won't they? I mean, without their permission, no. Oh, um, once... You, no. I mean, don't you have full creative rights over it when 
Somebody transfers it to you? Technically not. Oh, see, it's five. Okay. It's basically how uh, the uh, artist uh, actually needs to be informed about you selling that image. Ah, and okay. they have to agree to it. All right, Someone so there would be some more tried paper. to sell my art. Good night, Fiverr. I'm not happy about Five it. Fiverr. <laughs> night. I accidentally called you Fiverr. <laughs> because I was because talking about the platform. Because you were saying five so much. Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually just learned five. something really important. We haven't cleared out what? the area back to the atrium yet for Feel Weaver. Oh, no. We, we've never actually been in here. Oh, no. Oh, so, no. oh no! Yeah, uh, at least I got to it as soon as I did. Let's see here. I'm gonna need more equipment though. How much more? It's a good question. It's it sucks that my connection's getting worse. It well, it's almost time anyways, you know. Yeah, but we need to do this. Shit. Shwash is not going to be happy. Shall I come in geared to the teeth? Yeah. Why not? I think I can do most uh, of this. I just need more armor. Like, uh, chest armor. Maybe I'll just tear the whole place a new one. Okay, I can come deliver you some chest armor if you wish. How monkey get back here now? How are there still monkeys out here? Yeah, I appreciate the chest armor. And another monkey. Actually, two more monkeys. Monkey man. The monkey man. Get back here, you coward. The monkey. How are there so many monkeys around? Monkey man. I think that's where Dwash took all the monkeys. Yeah, but I thought I cleared them all out. You gotta realize we had the I had the entire uh, ruins after me of monkeys. God, a few monkeys. You would if you cleared out like a handful, that isn't touching it. I had at least a hundred after me. I am in the wrong area, as it turns out. Want to hear a stupid story? What? So. Oh uh, wait, uh, raising. Were you the one who was set up this telelocator down here? Yeah. Why? What about it? Oh, <laughs> I'll let you find out the downsides of that. They stole the gems? No. Uh, well, in single player, it implodes if you use it. Why did they let it build it down here, then? I've never actually used it underground before. I figured it'd be useful to get out of the atrium. It's not? Well, in single player. Oh, well, So well, it could be different in multi. Well, I guess hopefully we'll have to wait you know and see. it's warm enough so you don't need the winter vest, right? Yeah, hopefully. We'll see, though. Uh, I guess I'm leaving the time. What's the story, you? So, my boyfriend told me I needed to lose weight, and I'm not overweight. And so, my friend told me to ask him why he would say such a thing, and so I did. And he goes, I just wanted an excuse for you to go to the gym with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of those nice kinds of endings. I really should actually leave my backpack over there in the atrium, but I don't know if I should. Uh, just a second here. Bacon and eggs, I see? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to use while I'm in there. Probably some pierogies as well. For the healing. Okay, I'm ready to go back. Hopefully the monkeys have tamed. Oh, I am a little bit low on grass, though. Hmm. <laughs> I... So uh, sadly, I only have a bunch of rope on me. No grass. Okay, I would just pick some quickly over here. Because I like to have enough to build a couple torches and whatnot. Hmm... To light stuff on fire? Yeah. If I start freezing. Fire! Okay, there we go. But yeah, right now I have a temperature of 34 and I have no insulation or thermal. 
Hopefully it works then. Okay, time to do the coloring. This is gonna be interesting. Woohoo! What is inking? Like inking a print. Uh, I'm not similar? sure. I don't. I don't really do f physical art. I do digital. Hmm. No, you can do inking on a tablet. I've I've uh, heard it. Well, what I'm doing is I'm using the fill tool and then going around the edges with a brush. Hey, did you I... hear about the um, new iPad? The what? Who? The new also, iPad. Also, why is Hutch glitching out? Yeah, because he's stuck inside the thing. Basically. Hmm. And that is, is how we do. It is die. Uh, but we do need more light bulbs. How many light bulbs? I do only I have? have four. Okay, I need to go get more. Make oh, that I... two. Okay. You I just want gotta me quickly to stay over more. here and keep it loaded? Yeah, yeah, please do. I want to make sure it doesn't. I don't have to fight it again. Alright, so anyway, in regards to the uh, new iPad. It's going to, the cheap one's going to support pen input, so you can actually draw on it with the Apple Pen, which might be handy for artists or artistically inclined people. Before you have to actually buy the Pro model, if you wanted to, you know, do, draw directly with a pen. For the people who don't or can't coordinate as well when they're not looking at their hand on the screen. But like then that might be another option for digital art. I don't know. I suppose you have to use a different program and stuff. Yeah. It's nice to have options. I haven't personally used it myself yet, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Like Wacom is the or Wacom is the Wacom. industry leader, but no, Microsoft that is doing their thing. Why the tablet I have from them is so darn good. <laughs> Wait, is this the one that was breaking a second ago? Yeah. And now it's darn good, huh? Well, I mean, it's lasted me so long has worked really well. It's just that lately it started to poop out well, how, how old would you say it is? Five, six years. Ooh, wow, well, that's pretty good. Raising its time, but we need to clear it out. Mm -hmm. I'm coming over there. Right now. It looks like five is back. Oh yeah. Nice, welcome back. We are still here. Time um, to paint on some oops. um shadows. Right, jump in. I love doing shading. No. Death I am arms. here for moral support. Uh, let's go. Let's jump back through. Okay, it'll be easier to fight him over here, where we have space to run. Oh, that is for me to fight him. Of all the timings. Oh, and then that ran out. Fuel weaver or depth worms. <clears throat> Think this will help you raising. Uh, yeah, it'll keep the place lit up, that's for sure. Maybe you can actually circle around. And maybe you can help get off a couple of extra hits on them. We'll see. All I have is bone armor. I wish they'd stop taunting us and just come already. Okay, here we go. There they are. Hey. They're all after... Oh, wait, no. One's after me. Two's after me now. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, so you have to run away. And then close in suddenly. Like. Oop. Okay, that's not working. Gotta move away.
Okay, one down. I'm, why do they have so much bloody health? To keep the cave scary. And it, it worked, too. Because Can you guess what the number one annoying. thing was that I died to the first time I came into the caves? <laughs> These Depth things. Worms. Yep. Okay, I got uh, two of them down. Oh my god, I got hit twice there. It's not a good feeling, man. Okay. I have taken no damage so far. Good job. Can't say the same for myself, unfortunately. But then again, I am being careless here. To be honest, I'm using bone armor. Hmm. Ah. So that was a nice waste of time, wasn't it? And health. Yeah, we spent five minutes dealing with them. Yep. Well, free glow berries. Yeah, I should use the moggles. We have moggles. Yeah, I was about to ask. Why aren't you using them? I forget every time. Okay. I, I mean, we shot you, uh, brought the key over here. Yeah, we gotta clear this place out first, so. Well, I mean, it would've been easier to also bring the key. Oh, can you bring, uh, some extra tentacle spikes with you? Um, like, because mine is going to break eventually when I'm fighting. My, here's one. I can't carry any more, though. I just need you to, like, tag along. Uh, and... Could you, uh, the... Uh, what? The tentacle the respawned. The, already? Okay. That's fine. I uh, grabbed a bunch of tentacle spikes. Thank you. Just, um, you know. Head over to the uh, lazy deserter. Wait, are you on the other side of the tentacle? Yeah. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of tentacle spikes off from the other side of the tentacle. Oh, come on. Why isn't he over here? Okay, here we go. Though I, um... I'm going to grab some food first, though, before I come over. Okay. Anything else you need me to bring? Yeah, my moggles. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, you want to use the glowberries I picked up as fuel? Uh, might have to. I'm not sure. It should last a while on its own. Okay. Damn the it torpedoes full speed ahead. Minutes. Since thou art stuck. By the way, it's summertime. Already? Wow. These knights are merciless. God, I hate knights. I should have brought the fire staff with me. What? You want me to bring one down? You could. I'm not sure it will matter, but... I guess it couldn't hurt. Am I even going towards the atrium? It's actually raining on the surface right now. I don't think the way I'm going leads to the atrium. Don't you have the map? Yeah, I did. I don't know how I got it wrong. But apparently I did. I have to turn on the flingos. Okay. Oh no, a lot of the flingos are empty. Well, go ahead and fill them up. No point letting them run out, or letting our base burn down, what's left of it. Okay, so what do you need me to bring down? Uh, the moggles. 
And then some weapons. It? Yeah, I already got enough tankles spiked. Uh, this should be most of it. Oh, I'm down to 11% on my tentacle spike. I need you to help. I'm coming down as fast as I can. If I rush, I forget stuff. Okay. Because I almost forgot food. Okay. Got rid of that, dude. But I'm down to 3% on the tentacle spike. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you at Oh my the god. Hmm. Are you at the thingamahoozy? Uh, I, right, at the moment, I think the bishops are fighting the spiders. But I'm close to the atrium. Now I'll just bring you over, okay? I think. Okay. You'll find our way out of here. You're up right by the teleport. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm touching it. Teleport. Oh! What? <gasps> I forgot the key because full inventory. That's fine. Because you want me to bring over so much. It's fine. I mostly just need the weapon at the moment. I only have a 1% left on this. Tentacle. 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 Moggle. Thank you. Okay. Stuff to fight over here. It would actually have been easier if I brought the key over anyways. Well, I mean, we have to get out, so... The ink, well, I could unsocket it at any moment. Wait, did you bring a fire staff? No. Okay. You s I asked and you said that should be all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it works like this. Um, did we clean up the chest? Uh, no. They should have respawned. At least these spiders are keeping the bishops occupied. At least. Okay, we're down to two knights. Knights should be the easy part, though. Nah, they're... They take forever to kite, you know? Yeah. So annoying. Well, easier than, uh, you know. <laughs> He's so cute. That's why at the end of the why day, I just stop tanking them. Him? Okay, because here we go. Because he's a spider and I'm a human. And I have a boyfriend. Uh, there... We left Depth Dwellers down here, by the way. Doesn't surprise me. I mean, not Depth Dwellers. I mean, uh... Depth, depth worms. worms. You're there. It's a very hungry mole worm after me. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's a mole worm. Might be. Okay. Nope. Where is it? Okay. It's over there where you are. Okay, I see it now. I'm gonna send this to my mom, she'll love it. Well, you have more fuel for your um, lamp I'll keep on me. Oh yeah. Just uh, hand me one, I'll fill it back up. Okay. The, each Glowberry restores about 50%. Uh, oh really? Okay. I, I won't think. have to use it for a while then. I was thinking it was Mark 20. I think they about no, that's lesser glowberries. Ah, that yeah, would explain it. Let. Uh, hello there, Blazy Cat. I'm just clearing a path here to the atrium at the moment. That's yeah, nice. Thanks for watching. Okay, I better take care of these spiders because otherwise they'll get in your way. More likely than not.
Okay, the path should be cleared now. You should be safe to come over. Oh, wait, I'm actually clearing the wrong path. <laughs> it still should be cleared, though, I think, at this point. And okay. then two more spiders spawn. Okay. Also, I find the Sandy Gates to be more responsive to the Bone Helm. Really? Yeah. What do they do different? They automatically go up and down instead of having an animation. Oh. I had no idea. I'd be interested to see that at some point. Well, they still have the animation. You just automatically can go through them. Okay, now to draw a spider maid. I'm gonna Google that too. Then it's like an Undertale OC again. Okay, so we just have the tentacle to fight to get out of here. This is disturbing. There are a lot of spider maid pictures, and most of them, I think, are kinky. Mm. But not NSFW? Um, not quite. Hmm. Kind of new to DST. Where are you going in the runes? Um, well, we have to clear a path out to the atrium so we can fight Fuel Weaver tomorrow. Human with a bunch of legs. Okay, no. Not alt-tabbing to see that. <laughs> no. Bad song. Bad. Okay, yeah, this one is just supposed to be kinky. It doesn't even look like a maid. Well, anytime you get involved with butlers and maids, you're asking for trouble. <laughs> My mom's like, you do proportions so well. And I'm just like, I traced the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this will rip your sanity in no time. Hey look, the earthquake is killing tentacles. Yeah. Who would have thought we'd actually benefit from an earthquake? Okay. We can get out now. I need to get out anyway, so I only have 2% left. I need Google safe mode! I didn't even scroll down and there was a picture of boobs. You need eye bleach. And that oh. was just Googling regular maid. Yeah, you're gonna get put on all kinds of uh, advertising lists now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna pick up some of this monster meat here. But, wow, we went an entire 12 minutes over today. Yeah, and it didn't crash, so I told you I could, uh, I could get away with it from time to time. Time to time, but it's best not to push it all the time. Yeah. Well, at least we have the place cleared out for tomorrow. Well, there's a few uh, dangling d depth dwellers running around. Yeah, but they should go back to their den. Ooh, this is a cute picture. I'm gonna use it as a reference. Ow. Also, remember to bring the key next time. I'm adding that to the list. Okay, we have key as part of the list. Nice. Will this be the first fuel weaver kill? Uh, I think it's the second one. This world. Yeah. I think I'm just going to eat green mushrooms to get out of this funk. How much of a funk are you in? 38 are sanity. In... Hmm. I was gonna say, are you in funk -a town <laughs> Right now, it's hot, hot, hot! 
that and uh, Antline should be enraging when uh, next time we start the server. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Also, you're still wearing your insulation. Yeah, when I went down there, it was still middle of spring. <laughs> and I came back up, it's the beginning of summer. I guess we're swapping for Belt of Hunger. There we go. Woohoo! I love you can how you can carry a, just a bunch of shovels in your inventory. Imagine that in real life. <laughs> Wait, in DST? Yeah. yeah. There's got to be something more outrageous than that. I don't know what it would be, though. Like well, something mods, just... you can carry a bunch of monkeys in your inventory. <laughs> oh, yeah, how about that? They're carrying mole worms. Nah, they'd no, still no. be... No, no, bumbles... Bumblebees. <laughs> yes, carrying angry bees in your inventory. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm willing to save it here. Holding 480 bees in your inventory. How many can they mail to you in a box? <laughs> I, I don't know. No. They yeah. also do with the ladybugs. Yeah, good point. You can get like a hundred ladybugs for like five bucks. My mom used to buy boxes of ladybugs and let me release them in the backyard. Hey, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You can carry walls way bigger than players. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Imagine carrying walls in your inventory. Hmm. How uh, heavy do you think Thulosite is? Well, I since it's, it's magical, it could be light. Because you're wearing it on your head and stuff. Doesn't does doesn't one character mention that it's very lightweight? Uh, maybe. Like the armor or something? I can't remember. I wait. I don't remember. Gold, gold nuggets. <laughs> Those would weigh a ton because of how big they are. As Windy, lugging around an inventory full of gold nuggets. Okay, well, I'm off for tonight. Thanks for playing and hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, toodles.